Oh, that kind of came in right at the perfect time. Sorry, I'm That's juggling. What she said. I am tapping my head, or is it rubbing my stomach and tapping my head at the same time? This is the first time that I'm close enough as an old lady to see the comments. <laughs> so this is great. I could actually. I have read. to make it so big. What? First of all, okay, I'm all turned around. Also, what she said. Hey, I'm sitting in Cody's seat, and I think he likes his volume very, very loud. Okay. Oh my God, it's like Ken. Is mine good? Am Yours I good? is good. You sound great. I sound amazing. You sound amazing. You sound. It. Cody, you sound great. Where's the bug? Oh my God, the what? bug's not on here. Oh, oh God, my you God. The shit out of me. Oh, there's a bug on your shoulder. Stop it. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Wanger Show. Woo! Woo! Say, say, do, uh, say another one. Another one. Yeah, Cody usually says that. Okay. I don't know why I was like really gutter. Uh, do you know the 336th Pokemon by chance? Sure do. What do we got? Who who who's the 336 Pokemon? Stan. Stan. Yep. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. It is. Oh, Seviper. Close. Well, he. You would like this one. Yeah. Like, it's it's literally. I mean, he a goes by Stan for short. Yeah. It's literally a. Snake. Oh, sick. Yeah. I like a snake. I'll show everybody my deodorant and my snake tattoo. Hey, I'm a snake. Lots of deodorant because you can see it all over my shirt. Hey, that's okay. I've got. You can't see me because I'm I wearing love a white this shirt. shirt. I, this is now my official Spooky Month shirt. I love it. I think I got it for a karaoke one year from Marshalls. It's an Ugh. extra large, so I would wear that every it's day. Cheap. Yeah, it's great. It, it, you know what I call it? Besides my Spooky Month shirt, it's my Frank shirt. Oh, it looks like a shirt Frank, Frank would wear. Yeah. I actually, I think that would maybe be a little bit loud for Frank. Very true. It needs Frank pirate Colin. hats. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, if you're listening, he actually texted me and Cody over the <gasps> weekend, and it was lovely. Oh. It was a very quick. Quick interaction with him, but it was it felt like we were back. I love it. Back in right the day. back in it. Right back in it. I love that we're talking about him. Like I can't text him literally at any moment of any day. Like oh my god, I know what you do. You like, can. I can just... He won't answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he, he answers answer. me. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, Grace is Ooh. here on the show, everybody. Hi. Apparently, it's my ninth time. Jesus. Ninth Christ. time. Did Jack say that? Jack Cohn. Uh, this will be Grace's ninth nine times. Woo. Nine. Yeah. Uh, I was looking it up earlier because. <laughs> I am a professional, and you were on the show last time in August, so it's it's been a minute. It feels like a lifetime. Yeah, well, you know, as as life progresses, we get older. The closer to death we get, hell yeah. Thank God. Woo! Boom. Um, <laughs> Any day, please. Uh, it, it just, you know, time. What is time? No what one is knows. even time? Nobody knows. Neil deGrasse Tyson says he knows, but it's like, okay, guy. God, okay. I could watch him just talk about anything. Yeah. I love that he just gives no fuck shutting people just down. Just a nerd. Sometimes, I mean, I Cody and I have talked, but Cody's not here either, by the way. He had something last minute pop up. So it's just me and Grace. Deal with it. Grace is the wanger today. Boom. I'm the wanger. There she is. That's a good sound effect, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's going to be limited sound effects tonight, unfortunately. Ooh. Although I might start... My segment that I've been wanting uh, to start for a, a few months now. Okay. And it's called, What Did Trump Say This Week? <laughs> because uh, he's becoming ah. a lot more delusional and deranged. Oh, yeah. It's like, terrifying. More so than sleepy Joe Biden. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and some of them is, is, is quite terrifying. It is quite it's, terrifying. I'm, but. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. It's, it's every time I, I should be completely maxed out. Mag on what out. should surprise me. Correct. Yeah. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. um, they, they somehow find a way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Silly me. Yeah, I mean, listen. I thought we had maxed out on the weird shit going on. No. no. Then they just hired no. Mike Johnson, the, the <laughs> fucking scum of the earth. Literally, like, I can't. It, it's like the. This, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's yeah. all I got. I don't. Uh, listen, all due respect to anybody in your religious beliefs. But when someone goes, you want to know who I am? Pick up a Bible. You'll find out. <laughs> I'm like, ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, like guy. so, you hate most people. Yeah, great. It's like you're gonna you're gonna uh, follow all the passages that align with your beliefs, but you're not gonna go to the stuff right. that's you know you're gonna talk about. <laughs> it's treating been mistranslated others. Yeah, one thousand yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. just completely cater to whatever Hell they yeah. want. I'm Hell not yeah. talking from personal experience. Yeah, I'm you, know, you know, come on, I'm come on. Fine. All right, politics talk check. Ding. We got it. Cody would be like, okay, I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Um, I don't know really, where were we going with that before Nobody that knows. stuff. I don't know. Life sucks. Uh, there's a lot of terrible things going on in the world, yeah. but hopefully you can tune into the show and and laugh uh, for yeah, a, an come, hour or come so. Come chuckle with us. Come chuckle. Um, <laughs> that sound that sounds gross. I don't. A come it's chuckle. It's not weird. <laughs> He, I just, for the record, I, that was the first time I've not made something weird. That was totally on you. You yeah. made it dirty. You made a face, and I thought you that's where you were going to go. Oh, see, so okay. 
that I subconsciously I maybe I was. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, that's that's on me. I really do have it. Like it's still funny. Like I mm-hmm. really am a nine year old boy. Well, I mean, yeah, we. <laughs> Any man is a nine-year-old boy, and well, constantly, constantly, just I, t- I was going as as every human being on the planet probably does now, just going down the rabbit hole on TikTok, and oh. I got. <laughs> that's how I get my vitamins, man. I'm that's like, how you got to do it now, you know. C. China, take it, take it all. all um, of it, I just found myself into a, a farts algorithm, <laughs> just because it was there. Because they was, know you. <laughs> They know me. There's, it's a fantastic compilation, and there's multiple, but there's one of like high school or college kids hiding farts. Oh, and, and they're like, yeah, bro, cop. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> <coughs> and it just, it's clearly not covering up. And everybody in the class is laughing. We're all having a good time. You so. gotta laugh. God, you gotta laugh. God, I, I have actually found dying. on my algorithm once a man, and I haven't found him since because I was trying to tell my sister about this, and I was like, I have to find this because just talking about it makes you sound insane but his entire account if it's still up is literally he's completely anonymous and it's just him going into like a concrete stairwell at his like skyscraper office building and farting and just like oh, letting yeah. it rip into the beautiful acoustics that's 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 and some, like we like, don't know who he is we never see his face that's great that's like borderline asmr sort of you know <laughs> that like tickling the senses sort of thing because i mean t- tickling t- something yeah i mean tick- he's deeply unwell like he needs a brand muffin immediately i mean do they sound like healthy farts or is it like oh something's coming out of I, that? like too healthy i don't know oh okay i'm no hmm. fart expert it'd be what yeah I'm like no what if fexpert. he's like lactose and just going there and then <laughs> probably eat he's like i gotta and, get those views yeah and then just I mean, ripping I it. it i mean if it works there's a lot of things on tiktok that do that 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 uh, tickle the, the 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 senses or like the that are just the satisfying sort of getting, um, weirder. getting weirder. Yeah, how I'm approaching this yeah. or okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how. There's to, I don't a lot know of accounts on TikToks that, that tickle are just the senses, tickle the fancy, tickle 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 me Elmo. Ugh. No, like just the how does creepiest. Elmo sound? I was trying to think of. Hi, ah. hi, great. No, that's Mickey. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, that's when he, oh. um, just doing shit. Uh, yeah, Scooby. Um, no, but they okay. There are there are TikToks that are satisfying to watch. I'll just say that there, those are oh, the ones like the satisfying where they like squish shit. Yeah. Oh, bro, that is I like. Uh, yeah. So satisfying. There, so there's that. There's the one. The ones that I thought were weird were throwing bottles down a flight of oh, stairs into the like co- into the like paint jars. corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh so no, that I one. love that. And then uh, my go-to, my favorite, and I, I think this is peak content is uh, carpet cleaning. Oh, see, I go back and forth on that because it's so mm. satisfying to watch, but the whole time I'm disgusted. Oh, it's gross when so he's like, like there's maggots all out. over. Ew, yeah. what? There was maggots in a oh, carpet? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How did, okay, so that's a serial killer's rug for that's, sure. That's what I want to know. I want to know where these rugs are coming from. Who's responsible for all these dirty, how do you get and this like, rug? Bro, get a new rug. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's let good. it have its swan song and let's go to Target and spend 20 bucks. I mean, you see the final results of those rugs, though. It's like, I would lick off of that. I would lick that rug. <laughs> So the other ones that I like are when um, rug licking sixty nine. I love that yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, uh, the 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 guy who mows the lawn. <laughs> oh, that really nice. Who like does it for free? Yeah, and he like helps mm-hmm. people. Yeah, so Just sweet. Wonderful. Oh, so satisfying. Pool cleaning. Too. Pool cleaning is another Ooh, one. Ooh, yeah. see that one I haven't stumbled on. Enough. Yeah, just puts I in his chemicals like and yeah, yeah. yeah those stuff. people let those pools get real nasty, which is hilarious because pools are essentially just like. Ponds of bleach. It's yeah. like, where did this come from? Clean your pool. Yeah. Disgusting. Just clean your pool, you filthy animals. Rich piece of shit. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, you fucking one percenter <laughs> piece of shit. You're probably a CEO for some movie studio. Every time, and there's really no reason for this, because pools are like pretty generic, but every time I think of a pool, I think of Paranormal Activity too. Is it two? Oh, yeah, it's the second one. The second yeah, one? uh-huh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that because the pool was pretty much a character With the entire dad, time. Yeah. That hot With like dad. the cleaner. Yeah. Well. Dad bod. Sure. Okay. There we go. Hey, man. Opposite sides of the spectrum. We got you on that one. I'm um, down for a hot dad. I'm hot, I'm down for a hot dog dad. Kids, not so much. But you I'm know, like, if you got a cute dog, it's hard out here. You know, we we're out here just trying our best. You know, me, Ken. I'll say dad, dog dad, <laughs> dog daddy. You'll get there. Uh, he is a dog daddy. Who else is a dog dad? Or as we call him in the house, doo doo daddy, because doo doo daddy he that's picks up all the poo. Responsibility, yeah. yeah. I, I pick up all the poo too. Yeah. Even if are it's you a little in bitch about it too? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're great, honey. <laughs> I mean, it's just like you can pick up one. It's fine. No. 
Oh, but I mean, we live in a diaper. There's so okay, much to that's, do. Okay, that's fair. Like, and I do help out, so technically I'm also... Are we talking logs or like, uh, like... Like chapstick logs. Oh, okay. But sometimes Franny will come in and we're like, Jesus, fuck. Like, <laughs> like what it's happened? Bigger than the, bigger like, than the body. Like, who broke in and took a dump in the living room? Like, it's all... She's... <laughs> potty trained we got her and she was pad trained yeah so she goes on her pad okay um baxter doesn't give a flying fuck baxter will take a dump on your chest how like, old is he he's 17 oh okay yeah, but it's yeah. not he's mm-hmm. not like senile he's not unwell yeah he's totally no, he's, he has mental clarity he has dexterity he's earned it he finds his bones he plays with them yeah. he has tons of energy he goes on walks but he just like internally knows yeah. they're like what am i gonna do yeah i'm in love with him he's he earned do anything he's earned he his stripes like yeah. he he's he's walked this planet he knows that now he's just like i do whatever the fuck i mean I want. shoot i mean I, I i saw that story of that 31 year old dog <gasps> that died <gasps> i mean that's halfway to I mean, 31 he's been taking hallway dumps for decades yeah yeah <sighs> dang could you imagine 31 as a dog that's crazy that's like your whole life i mean that's how ratsy was yeah how old was rats ratsy was almost 17 I got Ratsy when I was 15 years old. That's crazy. She was with me through high school, college, Aww. moving to LA. Like the cutest little, just a baby. just the cutest little thing. That's know, the, that was col- that was pretty much Collider's mascot for those yeah. couple of years. Mm-hmm. And she was so chill. Like we didn't know any better. And then we got back to her Francis, and we're like, God damn, <laughs> we had it so good. <laughs> See, that's Ratsy why did not get enough credit. I'm terrified if because Amber literally sent me a photo of a of another dog. Oh like, no, are you doing the thing? Not, where, like, no. the rescues pop up and you start crying. Well, I mean, just yeah, me? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Once I get yeah. down, I I got randomly on a. On a weird algorithm where um, they were showing like a highlight of uh, like a couple with their dog over the years, and then the <gasps> final oh, no, moments with, with the them. Fuck- oh God! Yeah, no. and I'm you're like, like the music, and you're yeah. crying, and you I'm don't like, know why. No, yeah. get the fuck out of here! I, yeah, I like I'm not here for that. No, I, I'm, you're here for Hall with. I better die before Draco. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's. It's I the mean, John Q line. It's like I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm not gonna yeah. bury my son. My son's gonna bury me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't yeah, want to. I don't want to go through that, but. No, um, don't recommend. Yeah, but but that's uh, what I was saying is uh, I we, we got so lucky with Draco that I don't yeah. even want to risk No, I think the it. first one is like the best one because yeah. then it the universe knows that you'll adopt and save more dogs. But after that, True. they're all assholes. They're great. Yeah. So funny. Go out there and rescue dogs. Like, rescue go doggies. rescue dogs. But There's so many. All dogs need a home, though. You know? All dogs. Well, and dogs are... Dogs are angels. Like I don't give a flying fuck. That's like true. dogs are literally get us all. Through even the day. even uh, Biden's dog who just keeps killing. And I felt so seen. I was like, look, Franny. Like even the White House dog, he's bad. Mm-hmm. Like you can make it. You yeah. can still make it. You in can the world. still make it. Yeah. Stop destroying life around you. Yeah, I would like to see uh, because uh, that's probably like a German Shepherd or something. That's the Biden's White House dog? dog. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Maverick. Oh, it's like Sniper. Fucking. <laughs> you know, it's like he's in the trees or some shit like that. <laughs> he's it's, like. Killer, uh, general, fucking uh, secret service hater. I don't know. It's it's something. It's something like that's like a, like a hunter. Oh no, it's his son. I think it's. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, hey, <laughs> he's something. It's like wobble, um, robble, rommel. Oh, <laughs> although I guess that wouldn't work. That's it's fine. That it's was one game. of my parents' dogs. If you want to know what they're like. Oh, rommel. Yeah. Is that like a like a Bible name? Just Google it later. Rommel, okay. Not I Googled something that I would name one ever, of my doggies. You ever Googled when he was the? A great puppy. You ever Googled the the meaning behind Lululemon? No, Christian. I would love to hear. I won't say it on air. How you got there? Uh, I uh, uh, wait. Is it like something about a vag? It's like incredibly racist. <gasps> what? Yeah. So not a vagina. So I found this out. I watched Internet Today. Ricky and Elliot. Okay. Who, um, who uh, do like their internet t- today show? Okay, and he brought that up and he like whispered it into his ear. And he wouldn't say it, so like I googled it and I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> Wait, why haven't we canceled Lulu? Uh, by the way, I, I don't they. have. There's not a fucking thing in my home from Lululemon. I would guarantee. Okay, it. okay. I just I I didn't even know what Lululemon it was really until I don't know a year or two ago. I don't know. It's like if you want to take your rent money and buy yoga pants instead. Oh okay. okay. And then apparently also be racist. So like losses yeah. all around. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Hold oh on. God, are you gonna Google it? Ken says uh, I am doo doo daddy. <gasps> I'm sorry. Was that a f- cell phone going off? Was that mine? Oh. I think so. <laughs> so unfucking professional. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> it's my sister being like, "Who's your facial lady?" <laughs> I'm like, "Don, I've told you eight fucking she's like, thousand she's times." She's like, "Grace, I got some Lululemon lo- yoga <laughs> oh, pants. She has you a want lot. some?" But she's got money, so she, you know. Let's see. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. I'll turn my okay. Phone off. Yeah. 
So don't read it out loud. Ken, just stop texting me your dick pics. <laughs> oh, God. He texts me that, too. It's very strange. Oh, Commander. Well, you're on the group chat. Commander Biden is, is the name of the dog. Thank you, Theodore. So Grace is currently <gasps> reading the name. Google Google the meaning behind Lululemon. And you'll, you might have that same what reaction. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Ew. I read that, and I was I like. I dirty. I went straight to the website and bought myself some merch, baby. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Like. Like, yeah, that's gross. People are not great. Nah, uh-uh. I'm sure back in, I think it said like 2008 when he when he came up with the name or whatever, he probably thought it was the funniest fucking thing, and everyone was like, and everyone was like, good probably one, like bro. Probably like high-fiving yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. We need to move on with the times, man. I know. I love when like the, we finally took down the Victoria's Secret CEO piece of shit. He's dead now, but like mm. he sucked. Um, oh, I didn't or, like, know. Was he like a bitch piece of shit? Oh, were, were these guys like, all, all like the CEOs of these terrible companies were trash? It's so that weird. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I like their odds. What was the Victoria's Secret guy? Was he just a, a, a uh, me tour? Well, or beyond that, it's hard. I mean, he was like Jeffrey Epstein's best friend. He basically oh. f- like funded Jeffrey Epstein's What's his fortune. Name? I don't know why I can't think of it right now. It's you would know the name. Okay. Yeah. Because he had invented Victoria's Secret. Again, a white man invented bras. <laughs> well. Um, and also hey. the limited. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the limited? Yeah, which is just like another brand that also oh. sucked. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, fuck you, limited. Okay. Yeah. Dang. But they're all trash. Like I'm just I'm living for us ch- taking down people. I'm all for like that. Like JT. <laughs> J- oh, I think you said JTE. No, <laughs> I mean, I don't know unless we need to. Like, hey, nobody's safe. Oh, uh, Josh, I love you, Josh. Uh, <laughs> no, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Okay, the so OG we can. JT. So are you reading Britney's book? No, but I absolutely will. Okay, all right. Because um, Amber, was li- has, she's been listening to it. Oh. And we were on a car ride. Oh, actually, I kind of do because I want to hear Michelle Williams. It's pretty good. She's yeah, great. I mean, well, I love Michelle so Williams. Great, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I we were in the car. Uh, on the way to her dad's this weekend, and she was driving this time, and because I usually drive, uh, I, my car. I had a car. Otherwise, I would be driving. Okay, I, I, Grace, does Ken drive everywhere? Yeah, but that's because I like to chill and like relax. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, one day we'll just you and me. We'll just drive together. We'll switch off. I feel off. like he's about to, t- t- to type something. I feel like he has something to say about that. <laughs> yeah, I I drive everywhere. So this time Amber drove. And she's like, we're listening to Britney. And I was like, oh, cool. <gasps> fucking not yeah. sick. No, it's the book. It was like just she was here the in book. the room. And then, uh, no, yeah, we were like at a, a nice pivotal night. I want to say nice, but that lady has been through some stuff. But I think yeah. I think um, she was a little bit deeper into the book. So I think it was well past the, the JT stuff. But uh, oh, I'm I, sure he pops up throughout. I'm sure. He's I, ruined so many lives. Has he really? So I didn't know. He's like trash. I didn't know he was like trash. I mean, it's time. pretty obvious. Like, I don't know if you saw like the cornrows and the bandanas. Like, oh, it was I mean, clear early on. I mean, he's the reason why I had cornrows back <laughs> then. No, I'm kidding. Never did it. I did bleach my hair once, but that's <gasps> it. Oh, we all I'd go love through to that. See that. We all go. I might have some. I was. There's I swam with. Wrong with bleaching your hair. That no, that's make fine. You trash. Yeah, the cornrows. Br- are like, you kidding me? Like Billy Idol? Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Every man should have. Really, every person should have bleach. Well, think nobody looks bad with bleached hair. I guess that's true. Yeah. It, it was a pain in the ass when yeah. I was younger because I know it these burns. little bleachies. Oh, well, I don't, I didn't do it in like a back alley with like oh. Clorox. <laughs> I, I literally, my, my grandma did it for me <gasps> and it, the whole entire hair, because I wanted it, I wanted the, uh, like the frosted tips kind of thing. Of but course so you did. I did the whole thing and then eventually and then it let just, them grow out. yeah, yeah. Um, you were in it for the long game. <laughs> yeah. So you bleached the hair and it was just, on fire the entire time. Yeah, it does start to burn yeah. a little bit. So I like again. I literally sat in front of a, a like a wall mounted air conditioned unit just <laughs> and just like sat there. And I'm like, oh, this fucking sucks. <laughs> I, I, fucking I there, hate man. you. Why are you Game doing over, this to me? Man. Uh, but I yeah, do but think looks great. I do think there are. S- I'm sure my mom has some photos, but um, in particular, there should be photos of me like swimming with dolphins because I remember I had that hair. Uh, when I went to Cancun when I was younger with my grandma, oh, so I was swimming bougie. with some dolphins. So with your blonde hair. It was a sketchy ass area. There were like sharks swimming right on the outside. Oh, good. Yeah, Just so what you want, you know? I mean, I like me some sharks. Which apparently last week or not, uh, we didn't have a show last week, but the week before that, I called sharks mammals. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna start my apology tour right now. I, well, I don't. Are sharks not mammal? I don't. I no. I'm absolutely terrified of sharks. I don't know anything. The sharks are vicious monsters is what they're dinosaurs not really but, but no. they're technically mammals no what are they they're fish fish are friends not food but they don't lay eggs no 
I what think are that sharks? they have live young. Maybe they are mammals. Mm. I think. Uh, uh, I mean, they're abominable. The they're not, they're against God. Trying. They're absolutely the most terrifying thing on the planet. No, yeah. no, no. Have you ever seen name something more terrifying than a shark? Men. Ooh, you gotcha. Okay, okay. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> all of them, all of them are so applicable. <laughs> oh, is that us laughing? It's like you guys. Was that you in there too? I don't know. I can hear Cody <laughs> and Brian at the end. <laughs> yeah, that was bright. Well, there's one more voice in there. I want to know who's all laughing in there. No, I love sharks. No, yeah, I, I would. I've always wanted to swim with sharks, like in a cage or even free diving. Um, have them bite me with that like chain mail that people do, like the shark repellent stuff. Oh yeah, I would. I would love to do all that. Yeah. I'm shaken to my core. Really? Yeah. Look, I the, I can imagine the, absolutely nothing worse. I would rather be buried alive in a pit of cockroaches. I don't like cockroaches. Yeah. Nobody are, likes yeah. cockroach. That's the point. Sharks are terrifying. Patrick Ho says hard mic drop from Christian. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here for the. Hi, I'm, Patrick. I'm here for the ladies, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Theodore Jones says, you cannot milk a shark. I, a shark's like, I got Just nipples, Greg. Can you milk nip. me? Um, no, I've, I've always been fascinated with sharks. I, what I don't like in the ocean is the, the, the feeling, or not even just the ocean, just being in open water in general of... Yeah, looking not human looking down is like this ain't right. Yeah, and not being able to see below you. <laughs> that freaks me what? out. Um, uh, the movie couple. Oh, Wendy, hi. They don't. <gasps> Stop gosh, it, God damn it, hi, Wendy in here you. being smart. Uh, they don't have I warm. Miss you, Wendy. Text they don't me. have warm blood, so they're not mammal. La- laugh out loud. I don't know. So, so saying. nobody knows that they're just in a league of their own. They're just not mammals. That'd be cool if they were. And like I said that, thinking that they were, but who knows? I mean, there's uh, turtles. Alligators, dinosaurs. So, like, sharks could, should probably just be in the dinosaurs uh, file. I mean, yes, technically, it's like a, a version of the crocodile. Like, meaning they shouldn't be here. Like, oh, you should yeah, go. yeah. Like, the move oldest. Along, please. That's what's weird to me. Not weird, but, but not cool. Turtles. turtles being able to age oh. and live as long as they are able to live. That's oh yeah, just, Tommy Johnson's gonna cool. outlive all of us. Yeah, who's Tommy Poor guy. Johnson? Tommy Johnson, Kate's little tortoise. Is that the the I like turtles kid? You know that guy? No, it's not. No. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. No. You know that guy? That I love turtles. I guess I don't. You don't know that that meme? The no? kid? Oh god, it was like it's like uh a little uh, like OG meme. It was a kid like uh, uh, a lady goes up to him. He's like, "What are you dressed as?" And he's like, "I like turtles." <laughs> <laughs> and then just like I think just this year because I think it's been ten years since that That's that video went viral, to hear. and he dressed up in the thing and he did like a reenactment. He was like, oh, "I like cute. turtles." It was adorable. It's so every now and then I'll find people on TikTok who are like, "I got famous when I was nine. and then it's like now they're like twenty five, and I'm like, "But didn't that meme come out like last year?" It's weird that memes are old. They're fish. What? What is a fit? What does it mean? A fish <gasps> amphibian. I love you too. Amphibian? No, that's a, a frog. <laughs> 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 See, uh, I've Today been out of high school. Today on Anthropology, we'll be sharing with you been many interesting facts. Been out of school for facts. a long time. Fish are fish. Fish are friends, not food. That's all I know. Well, you eat fish. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I like some salmon. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. You don't like, oh, well, you, don't eat, you don't eat any fish. I don't eat things with faces, no. Salmon have faces. Okay, what's a fish that, uh, a stingray yeah, they well, I'm vegan, fish. so I wouldn't eat any fish, even if you okay, technically I know, have a face. But I, I'm like it's just a good rule of thumb. There's probably some like, kind of fish. Like, did this have eyeballs once? I'm out. Have you ever seen a, a cookie cutter shark? And follow no. up, have you ever seen a wound from a cookie cutter shark? It's almost like you want me to never sleep again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're not going to get you. What the fuck is a cookie cutter shark? So oh, because it's, it's like, Ugh, what does it mean? It literally Ew, it has a me. it has a mouth me. that ha- that's circular. And its teeth go like outward, what the and they literally fuck? bite a chunk out of you. And when you see the wounds, it looks like a cookie cutter has gone through you. Yeah, so cool. Horrifying! It's just yeah. like a little Christmas tree. Oh, the the <laughs> it, it it gives me that um, I don't know that uh, that phobia of the tiny holes and stuff. Oh, that's I think it's tryptophobia. Tryptophobia. It gives me like that anxiety <laughs> big time. But they're just giant chunks of flesh being taken out of. That's great. What a yeah. neat fact to know. Yeah. There's a thresher shark. That's my favorite shark. It's a smaller one, but its tail is like the size of this. 
and it's super super long, but it's very flimsy, and they use it to para- they use it to paralyze their the fish that they're trying to eat. Because they just like slap the <laughs> shit like out of it. It's like a whiplash. Yeah. Oh my god. So cool. Mm-hmm. I feel like you have you and Ellis talked about this. He loves sharks. Sharks. Oh man, I mean, he loves Jaws. Ugh. Man will shut up about Scarred Jaws. Me for life. Oh, I love it. It's great. Like. Literally, my parents were like, everything is Satan. Do you want to watch Jaws and be scarred for life as a toddler? Go Do you want to? Oh, you want to go to the beach? Let's watch a movie first. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to watch this cool, neat film? Like, yeah. No. Oh, the, Jaws is almost like a comfort. I was telling someone the other day that uh, I was watching The Exorcist and that movie. I, oh, I put that on the background. It oh. put, me to, put me to sleep. God, I love The Just Exorcist. Com- like, give me a warm glass of milk and put on The Exorcist, <laughs> and I am golden. I, I feel like The Exorcist just, like, gives me nutrients. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it just fills me with... Yeah, it, imp- it improves my immune system. Some uh, Ellen Be- Bernstein, yeah, just like crushing it just the being entire the time. Fucking coolest. Yeah, yeah. I really want to go to those stairs. Yeah, I was t- the last time that we all went to DC. Um, our plan because I know. you, I, I don't know if you recall, but uh, the night before, uh, we I, I think we got pretty drunk, but then also I, someone I pulled the fire alarm. I mean, yeah, I mean, if, we're, if I'm with Mark <laughs> and Ken, we're all gonna get drunk somewhere. <laughs> And then the plan was that night, that was the night of the the famous Clutch Burgers. I don't know if they told you that story, but um, we stayed up really late, got food, but then someone pulled the fire alarm and we had to all go outside. Oh, yeah. This was like at four in the morning or something like that. But Ellis had the Clutch idea of of, like moving our flights because we had an earlier flight and he was like, oh, let's fly later in the day. And then I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Then we'll... We'll we'll wake up early, we'll party all go night. to Georgetown, go oh, see the steps. Oh no, you sure didn't. Oh, we know. We I woke. We woke up so late, and we're like, "Oh, our flight's in three hours. We need to go." Ugh. Yeah, but next time I want to go yeah. to the stairs. Yeah, I want to go. Lay at the bottom, like I know. Ah. Ellis with those early morning flights. God. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I do. I know. We well, we went to New York just recently. Uh, we took the red eye and got I know, to New why? York. I thought. Because you can't check into your hotel. I know, but I'm like, oh, we're in New York. We'll walk around a little bit, you no. know? I don't Try know what it is about airplanes. They just like, they're like dementors. They just suck yeah, the life out they, of you. At least on the way home, I was able to sleep for the first time, I think, ever on a plane. Oh, nice. Um, you are I, getting older. I, well, I it's took like two sleeping pills. Oh, sick. Yeah. yeah I took one sleeping stuff. pill on the way what over. What did you take? I don't know. I don't know. Amber Amber's just, just like. She's <laughs> like, here, take it. I'm like, <laughs> is it okay? <laughs> what is it? Can I have a. A soda I with wish it? Ken would do that. Anytime I'm like, it. here. You know, iron- ironically, anytime, because I'm like in pain constantly for some reason or the other. And he's like, do Jake pain pills? And I'm like, no. And then when he's like, I can't sleep or this, I'm like, here, like, I got so much shit mm-hmm. and he won't do it. Yeah. He I mean, trust the drugs I get. I'm a little bit Ooh. like that too. I'm like, give me the COVID vaccine. I'll take it. But then you give me a, uh, an Advil. Hold on a second. <laughs> well, what's in this thing? I want some studies. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then I pop fucking Advil and I get headaches all the time. I'm like, give it to me. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't recall what it was. No, Mm-mm. but it was the, that good. The first time, not so much. I did not. I took one pill. I was drowsy, but I did not fall asleep. Oh, I was almost. It was in the. In, it was judged it. It was an in between. Like yeah. I was. I, I. I felt. I felt the the need to sleep. Like oh, I'm right there, but I just. I just couldn't jump. I don't Is know. Is it because your brain's like? <laughs> uh, maybe I even have like. That's what mine's doing. That's what your brain's doing constantly. Yeah, if I, if I get like if I wake up for like a split second, oh, you're up in the middle of the night. My brain's like amazing. I have six thousand things I would like to talk about. And I'm just like no, mm. no, 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 mm-hmm. no, no. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like I can take a a ten to twenty minute power nap, Ooh, and then once no. I'm up, I'm good. I'm good to go. I know. I a lot wish of I people could, are yeah. like that. Naps like destroy me. They make me so groggy and I hate them. Mm, oh, oh, coming out of the nap is like, oh, fuck. I'm like, who I'll, am I'll, I? I'll lay there for a little bit. Oh, Jeremy says weed away the pain. I've always not been against, I know, but I'm not I, a weed guy. I've, I've never been like a weed person and I always like, no, I, I wish don't I could that. be. Yeah. I, I feel would like love to just pop a gummy every night. I feel like it would make me more anxious and anxiety. Like, I feel yeah, like I'm I mean, more I mean, paranoid. I feel like it does for most people. Yeah. So, I don't know. I guess it depends on. On who you are, just toke it up, you know. Then I feel like I get lazy, and then if I if I I I, I not not weed's not addictive, but like I get high, and then I'm like, oh fuck, I'm hungry, and then like, oh, I'm just gonna shove shit in my mouth. Yeah, I don't want to do that. It's a vicious you know? cycle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So don't do drugs, kids. But weed is illegal now, so <laughs> for most mostly everywhere, I think. it's legal. Yeah. I oh, think and you then said it's illegal, but it's legal. 
Is it? I think, no. You know what? In some places, I don't think it is. I think in a very few states, it's, it's not. Or Shitty ones. Yeah, like fucking Alabama. Fucking Arizona. Suck oh. my dick. <laughs> it's okay, man. Probably Alabama. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I'm sure Alabama's fine, too. Yeah, yeah somebody sure Google it. Yeah, Google it. Don't Florida, it. though. Woof. Sorry, y'all. Just snip that right on off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Into it's the ocean. They get still wet. Sorry, it's the armpit for a reason, right? They call yeah, it the armpit, yeah. right? Something like that. It's like the skin tag of the U.S. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, it, speaking of skin tags, <laughs> I don't know. I've been meaning to show you yeah. guys something. Do we have a We're talking about here? our new sponsor. No. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's Spooky Month. <gasps> oh. Spooky Month. Spooky We always season. try to have Grace on around the time that's Spooky Month. It's it's my favorite time of the year. Absolutely. I'm sure it is for you. We got candles. 100%. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Sir. Shout out to uh, Cody's uh, bowling Mind me just breaking my neck. Well, because remember last year I was supposed to be here for Halloween and and then I <laughs> almost died. So then there was that. When did you? Oh wait, die? these are barely these barely. Wait, come but are on. these like real wax? But no. like fake candles. Yeah, but oh, it does kind of just broke off. Oh, that's fine. It's waxy. It needs batteries, but at least we can have it there. Kind of smells good. Kind of smells like an old Barbie. Oh yeah, these are not working. I know at Wendy all. knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> You can just put them there. I'm just They're not working at all. Uh, you almost died last year? What happened? I forget. Oh, my God. I almost, It's like, it's such a long story. I almost died so many times. Like, I've, I've been, I have like a punch card for the ER. Oh, okay. Well, so then yeah. maybe that time it was your 10th time and you yeah, got Yeah, I get, that, I get like a free, free yeah, you know, like a one free IV. Okay. They're all like right. 25% off. <laughs> Here's yeah. your new card. Well, yeah. you're you're here now and I'm, alive yeah. and well. Thank God. Crazy. Or I know. Thank, thank her. Yeah. Th- thank, thank you. Thank her. Thank goddess Where that I made it. Is. Yes. Yeah. Thank Greta Gerwig. It's Ratsy. Yeah. Oh, thank Ratsy. She, yeah. she she's looking. I don't know. What up the... at us. I don't know. No, that's gross. Down below. At us. <laughs> she's looking up your asshole, right? No, now. I meant like like a, like oh hell's cool, right? No, but oh. um, no, but she wouldn't. No, she'd be no. the queen of whatever space. I don't believe in a, a heaven or hell per se, but dogs for sure move on to a happier place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For I know. Sure. Same, same. They're just same like with running around like crazy, yeah. chasing tails, chasing squirrels and catching them, and then hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. Anytime the beans are having like little puppy dreams, beans. we're always like, "Oh, are you dreaming of sissy?" Like, oh, I love that. <laughs> Franny was doing it today with her like big long velociraptor tail, and it yeah. was just like doing this Aww. weird little tick as she's like passed out like a little tipped cow in the sun I patch. I love it. Just love it. so fat. It does freak me out a little bit because today Draco literally barked. He was like, and just sleep. And then sometimes we'll see like his feet moving, like no. he, like he's like running. He's like- yeah, like he's chasing after a ball or something. I was like, oh, that's the best. I follow uh, like a couple dog specialists on TikTok, and they they dream of us. Like, our pets dream of us. I saw one TikTok that I showed to Amber. It was like, you know how dogs are great? Is like, put your wife in the trunk of the car and then open it up. And then put your dog in the trunk of the car and open it up and see who's happier to see you. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> so true. I mean, it could be for a man, too. Put the man in the trunk. Then yeah. that'd be the woman. That was just a particular TikTok that I was repeating. I didn't come up with that. Sure. Uh, mm-hmm. But, yeah, no, I, I I love the fact that, like, I can have a shitty day or I can fuck up oh, on something. The and then he's there. He doesn't give a shit. Like, he's there for me. A hundred percent. I know. Draco. We don't deserve dogs. This no, is why we, we need don't. to adopt all of them because they're so wonderful. Yeah. Find a home. Find a home for them. But yeah. um, it is the spooky time of the year. So uh, let me ask you, when do you start celebrating spooky month? <laughs> well, uh, January 1. January 1. I mean, yeah. it's really always spooky month in my soul. True. I've been to your guys' place too. Candles a galore. You got to say yeah. a, a, a seance before you walk in. You got to yeah. avoid the pentagrams. It's a whole thing, but it's nice. It's yeah. comforting. Yeah. I just want to make sure that like the right people don't come to my door. You know what I mean? Like you can see between like the skull and the witch thing yeah. and the gargoyles, like no Mormons come to my door. Yeah, I was going to say, you get those two young Mormons Delicious. up and coming, those rookies coming in. Yeah, they see in. it and they're like, and I have like a little tiny little like, you know, like pride trans flag. Yeah. And they're like, no, no, she's not for us. And I'm mm-hmm. like, sure ain't. But then hey, you can get one rookie and be like, well, maybe I could change her. No. Or, one no, time sorry. they wrote me. They fucking wrote oh, me with oh. my name and my physical address. And, I've gotten one of those and too. And I literally yeah. <laughs> wrote them a letter back and I yeah. was like, if I ever hear from you again, I am bringing fucking this letter to you. the police. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's oh, no, responsible. That's, yeah, I just yeah. said that I didn't threaten their lives. I mean, listen, they um, like their guns. I wanted to. Just say, hey, I, got a, I got me a gun. Oh, but, then, but then they would love me. They'd be like, you should be one of us. Oh, shit, damn you. Yeah. They thought of everything, huh? I know. Damn, they got good. you. It's that, smart. Yeah, I might Cults join. Like that. I might join. <laughs> I might. Jo- you know what? They got to get they gotta a few points. right now. Yeah. Shit. 
I know. Okay. Yeah. I so all year round. Yeah. 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 I. Life's too short to not live in a haunted. That's very true. Whatever the fuck it is. I love a seeing a haunted diaper. Uh, ugh, that's, I, that's we live in a diaper. Distru- oh, okay. I, that yeah. literally because of the like beans. A, yeah. Okay. That can go many ways. I knew that you were going to say. I knew you were excited. Look, Baxter has decided that he's Mexican. He's <laughs> that he's graduated to uh, to to take it take a tinks wherever. Where, yeah. He does so choose. I mean, like I said, um, and he, he does. He 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 deserves it. Yeah. He he's, he earned it. I yeah. Mean. He's like top floor corner <laughs> office. Like he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He's got a little button that locks the door. <laughs> um yeah. Like Baxter, no. I do I, yeah, I do like me some spooky month cuz every time I try to watch a movie that's a, a horror film that's not in cuz I'll start I'll start like Amber, can we watch a horror movie in September? It's like fine. Oh yeah, I you think know, I start to know. like get in like the words actually there in yeah. like August. I'm like, it's yeah. fall. Come on, come on. And that's like 110 in LA, and I'm yeah. like, we can do it, right? Oh, that's my only thing. I was saying to someone the other day. I wish it was a lot because like today and this past weekend was nice and cool. I wish this is the weather that I, I, I want to have. We turned on our heater today, like the house heater. I was gonna say I took Draco out this morning. I was like, it's, ooh, it's a little got a little. Yeah, I put on a, a sweater. Chill, chill oh. I know, yeah. so exciting. Yeah, yeah. It's it's God. It makes me so goddamn happy, and it pisses it me does. off when I see uh, Christmas decorations already up, yeah, taking them, taking the down. Fuck. Like, you listen. take that Santa Claus right up the bum. Yeah, Mrs. Claus out Disgusting. there cheating. You, you and the elves. And like weird Rudolph. Little, yeah, reindeer and sh- no, no. Prancer, dancer, Fucking. flancer. All of Con- them. Then say Chancer. I don't know. That's him. That's the best one. I don't know any of the names. I used to know all the names. There's a movie called Prancer. That was cute. Was it? I don't know. I remember it. (laughs) But, um, but yeah, watching, watching spooky movies like crazy, getting into the spirit. Uh, what did we, did we do anything? I went to Halloween Horror Nights once. That was fun. This year? This year. I went, I went. Was it a shit show? No, I went on opening night. I got to go for work too. Oh, did so you I got like know escorted well, you probably, and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, you got like the nice one. Yeah, because yeah. I've heard it's like just been a nightmare this year. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of posts like that, but I've I've heard conflict. I mean, different things. Like my brother went uh, a week or two ago, and they didn't even get fast passes. And he said they went on pretty much everything. Oh, nice. So I think it I just feel depends. like it probably dies down like closer to Halloween. I feel like we do it earlier in the I month. F- yeah, I, I feel like he went during the week too, so maybe that that was in his favor. <laughs> You're like, dude, it was. Tuesday at 10 a.m. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you didn't need He did need say pass, they, they went to the park during the day and then, like, <laughs> transitioned into the night. He's like, too. it was 5 a.m. It was a discount employee day. <laughs> so I did that. Um, Draco went to a little Halloween party yesterday. Oh, yeah, that was I adorable. Saw. I'm trying to think, what did, did we do anything else? Maybe, I, what do you I, do? Oh, sorry. I was going to say, we're like, we don't have friends, so we didn't go to, like, any oh. Halloween parties or anything. Yeah, we so. don't like you. Yeah, yeah I know. But yeah. What are you okay. doing tomorrow? I'm actually, we're actually going to uh, uh, the uh, Haunted Hayride mm. in L.A. Yeah. We went to that with Frank. It was Oh, okay. So was Darina there too? Yeah. Darina hit me up and she's like, you guys want to go? I was like, yeah, let's fucking go. Fun. So shout out to Darina. Yeah, yeah. I so will tell you, when we when I went to the little lady's room to powder my little snoot, mm-hmm. there was no toilet paper and there were no paper towels. Hmm. And also no soap. Well. So just. I mean. Come prepared in your little fanny pack. Okay. Whatever you need. I mean. I'll give you like a pee pack if you want. Us guys, we don't need it. You think I wash my hands? <laughs> Ew. Yeah. No. Oh, Trash. that's duly noted. Okay, I'm going to mention that. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to have like a little, hey, by the way, Amber, if you're going to the bathroom, <laughs> this. It's like a little drug deal, but it's just like three little yeah, sheets yeah, yeah. of TP. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, three? Got you, girl. Here's seven. <laughs> Which is the average. The average, yes. Yeah. Um, okay, duly noted. But uh, but uh, what, am I, what am I to expect? Is it just haunted mazes and stuff? No. Or like event stuff. There's can like I a drink there? Mini, I think you can drink. I remember us getting a couple drinks. Yeah. Um, there's some snacks. There's like some booths. Booths. There's so many tits just everywhere. Can I put like oh, titty okay. haunted titties everywhere? Keep going. I have a sound bite um, that I that I did send there to Cody. Are booths. Booths. Um, okay. There was like a haunted house. There was something else. There was music. There was a lot of hay. On okay. the ground. But they like And then you sit and then you line up for the hay ride, which is where you sit and uh, in hay in the back of like a really long, you know, like construction. Okay. And you open go through bed truck and they go, take you through the old zoo. Oh, and like okay. shit happens and there's cool lights and little spookies oh, like jump yeah. out at you. Yeah. Oh, it was hell super yeah. fun. Okay, I'm excited. I mean I was excited before, but now I'm 
even more excited. Yeah, because um, there's titties. Well, I wanted to, because I, I, sometimes I'll, I'll send Cody um, <laughs> clips for sound bites that I want. This one's a little inappropriate, but just because oh. it's just because it's Tim Curry well, saying it oh. makes it even funnier. Tim um, Curry can say anything. So he wants. Uh, I was watching Scary Movie Two over the weekend, as you do. Sure. Uh, and Tim Curry is in it, and there's this deleted scene of him. Oh no! Of like the most absurd, because in the movie he he plays a pervert, like he's an absolute pervert uh, throughout the whole movie, like constantly hitting on all these college girls. It's, it's gross. But then again. Because it's Tim Curry, it's just like it's kind of like, it's like kind of hilarious. You can laugh because you know he's a like little bit, yeah, the sweetest. So it might be a little dated. So I saw this and I was like, "This is such soundbite out of nowhere." It's you're like, "What the I'm fuck so is nervous. the context?" <laughs> so uh, uh, I forget the other guy's name. Um, he's from uh, Arrested Development. Uh, uh, Jason Bateman. No. Uh, oh, the funny the brother. The brother. Uh, bald head glasses. Will, Ar- Will Arnett. Not Will Arnett. Uh, uh, yeah. He's like the brother in law. <gasps> oh my god, the one with the hook. All blue. Who's all blue? Oh, Tobias. Tobias. The never do. No, not Tobias. Y'all, your name. You know that show. Not him. The other guy. Oh I, my, you, are you? I named every man I know. on the show. Well, anyways, the he, dad. No, I'll. I'll <laughs> I'm like trying to think of his name. Is, but anyways. It the, is it the guy from Veep? No, 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 no. Okay. That's the, that is Tobias, right? No. Oh, Tobias is the one you're referring to. The guy he who's has on hook. blue. Tobias is the never. Okay, who's okay, blue. okay, okay. Got it. You were right. I'm getting confused. Have now. you watched Arrested Development? I have, but I didn't watch the newer Netflix stuff. So I don't know that I all. watched the newer stuff. Actually, now that I think yeah, about it, uh, it wasn't. I for just me. have a really great memory for really useless things. It's great. Oh. Lines? Look who you're talk- nah. David Cross, thank Anything you. Else? People are yep. watching. Thank you. Yes, Tony, Tony Cross. Hill. David Aww. David Cross is the name. Anyways, so David Cross is, <laughs> is is saying something like, "You need to look at this," and then this is what Tim Curry said. What is it? Is it titties? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not the fact that he says <laughs> it's the hard titties. Tea. It's it's the way he says it, and then if you see it, <laughs> professor, professor. Professor, what, what, what? I think you should see this. What is it? <laughs> is it titties? It's <laughs> the hard. It's absolutely <laughs> the, wind the up. hard T. Okay. It's the hard T. You know what he reminds me of in that clip a little bit is it. He reminds me a little bit of Skarsgård with his little like weird little smile and his little eyes, his big eyes. No? Are you fucking with me? No, you don't think that? Did you know he played Pennywise in the original? Oh, I did know that. I think I knew that in my subconscious. I was like, great. I haven't seen the original, though. Okay, that's fair. He's fantastic. Well, now I I see why he played it. He's the only reason. He should play Pennywise. Yeah, he should. Yeah, that's the only reason why there's the. He was also, did you watch the Wild Thornberries? Is that the cartoon? Where the girl can talk to animals? What? No. You you never watched that show? No. Oh, well, he he voiced the, uh, the father. Oh my Nigel. god! Nigel smashing! <laughs> He's amazing. I yeah. know he like kind of moved away from it later in life, but Rocky Horror Picture Show was just yeah. I mean, just the gem. utter utter. I think deliciousness. Um, I was watching a behind the scenes. You were talking about how you have useless information. I yeah, watch useless that's things. All I, I was watching a, the making of Scary Movie too, and Tim Curry <laughs> was in there, and he was like, oh. he was like, huh? he was like, oh, I just love the humor from like he was basically going off and saying like he gets a do all this stuff and get away because he's like, God, no one's going to understand this, but I- I'm having fun. Like he's making himself laugh. Yeah. So I had to play it. I had to play it. I didn't know if Cody would have actually played it or not. I think he would have, but because I sent him a couple. We would have peer pressured him. I, I sent him a couple uh, Trump ones too that maybe we'll get to. And, uh, what oh. did Trump say this week? But, um, okay, so yeah, we. Uh, titties. Yeah, titties. They're great. Halloween Horror Nights. Hey, Rise. Been a tits guy. Yes. Yeah. I love women. That's what Me I'll too. say. I don't say ass or tits. I'm all for them. <laughs> I'm all for all of it. I take the whole package. I take the whole package. Yeah. Dicks, butts, fuck it. Oh, Who cares? Sure. Why not? Yeah. Anything. I love it. I do not discriminate any other way. Feet Just though, like Mike Johnson. fuck off. No. <laughs> uh-uh. I'd, I'd, the feet fetish thing, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Maybe you just haven't seen the right foot. Yeah. I just, I just think, I just <laughs> look at my feet. I'm just like, uh, who I wants don't like, to? I don't feel like someone would like fuck no these shame. Hobbit feats. Like, the, f- the I wear right? socks for a reason. I'm not going to show these things. Bare. Look, there's a you foot for every for man. For, there's a, a man well, every, for every there's, foot. There's two feet. There's two. <laughs> yeah. It's a two for one. Yeah, 
That's two players. I, th- I think, you know, I have cute feet, but yeah, I don't, no hate, but I don't understand it either. Yeah, I'll say that. No hate, but it's just not for me. Yeah, it's not like, for no, me. F- no, feet, not Especially for me. Especially men's feet. I, I do not want to see your toes unless yeah. we are at the pool or the beach. That's fair. Unless we're on yeah. the lazy river in Vegas and we're like. Yes. Halfway through a gigantic slurpee of booze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. never want to see your toes. Yeah, Mm-mm. it's or not d- acceptable. Or jeans and and and, and slippers or, or uh, uh, chocolate. Well, that's terrible. Like jeans and uh, and and sandals. No, get out of here. I can't. I stand mean, just that. sandals. You can't. What are we doing? There has to be order somewhere. I mean, I have sandals, but I don't wear them all the time. Where do you wear them to? I like to get the mail to take Draco. Oh no, well, sandals, except- sandals at the beach. Or like flip flop. I maybe we're thinking flip flops and sandals. Shows your two, yes, your toes. <laughs> this shows your two toes. Yes. I don't know if you guys know. He's only got two. I got two. Uh, seven total. Lost them in an accident. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my weight. Is, I'm very terribly off balance too. Um, got some vertigo. But uh, uh, elbows though. <sighs> get out of here. Hi. Uh, you've oh, bitten so, uh, an elbow, right? Get out of there. Oh you've my god. You've bitten the weenus, oh, right? Oh, so hot. Yeah. But like really hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't feel it. You can't feel There's it. There's no pain there. There's yeah. no pain. Why? Mm-hmm. Like, why can't I have that on my fucking kneecaps? Like, why can't we have that everywhere? I mean, I know why we don't have that everywhere, well, but I wish I could have that. Anatomy. Because uh, we're mammals. <sighs> we're mammals. You know, yeah. fuck, it's all coming. There we go. It makes sense. As, as Christian, as Socks your lawyer, I support everything How you say. You? Thank you. So, oh, Amber's been on, she's been a, a croc supporter for a long while now. I'm okay with that. Okay. She finds them very, very comfortable. I I've don't heard get they're it. comfortable. I haven't tried them. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're. I that would comfortable. like. I would try it. Like I would wear them to Pilates or like to ballet when I'm Fair. gonna take my shoes off immediately. She almost whipped. I think she whipped them out in New York, or she almost did. At least mm. on the way to the airport, I think she did. Maybe okay. some questions about that. It's a lot of walking, so her feet were. Her dogs were barking. Woof yeah. woof. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, we are talking about spooky month and titters. Um, titters. Uh, Usually, uh, when we, when you ha- you have been on these spooky month episodes, we've uh, told some ghost stories, some talk oh, some yeah. talk some tales. Like when you were in your bunk bed. Yes. That one time when you lived in your bunk bed. I'm trying to. Re- I I remember the moment, the funny moment, but I don't remember the moral of the story. <laughs> I just remember it took. It was just fucking forever to get there. Titties and like macaroni noodles. No, I think. no, there was no titties. It was ass back then. It I was, was an the- ass man. This was before I was an everything man. Yeah. That was an ass man. I know. Ken's an ass man, too. Is he really? Yeah. I'm like, hello. Ken. Ken. You got to be an everything. Like an everything bagel? I mean, I think. <laughs> Are you going to say, oh, I, I, I want to sesame seed? I think he's just a seat? grace man, right? Ah, ah. There you go, Ken. He's like, I'm not watching anymore. Ken's buddy. like, I'm Aye. playing <laughs> Red he's Dead He's definitely Redemption. playing some, yeah. No, I bet he's working and and recording something. Sure. He's recording something. Yeah. Or getting ready for the next hike. Definitely cleaning up all that do. Are we on? Right. Are we on? Right. We always text each other every Thursday. It's so cute. It's like, are you in or are you out? <laughs> this last week, he's like, are you a hero or are you a, <laughs> we say a coward or something like that. I was like, hero. Really? Um, I'm a hero. So uh, I know you did something recently that had some spooky, spooky stuff. So I think we both have scary stories to tell or spooky stories at least. Yeah. I think yours might be a little bit more elaborate and probably a little bit more creepier. Uh, but... I do want to go into this, and I do. Uh, if anybody has some spooky stories that they <gasps> want to tell, feel free to put it in the in the chat. Um, also, <laughs> what, what the moral is? Christian loves his bunk bed. <laughs> I loved that bunk bed. That bunk I bed was, really was amazing. It was so cool. Actually, at this next location we're filming at, I think they have bunk beds. Fuck yeah! Just saying. Um, so if you have uh, any sort of spooky story that y'all want to chime in on in the yeah. chat, feel free to, to send it your way. Or if you just have any questions, oh. maybe we'll do some do, do a little Q&A at the end of the show. A little you wanna, AMA? A little AMA about them too. Oh, hey. A- an Amit? You want to do an Amit? Ask me anything about them titties? That's like yeah. an Amit. But you got to get it hard, like titties. Titties? You got to do it. Uh, th- we'll coin the term here. You got to do a Tim Curry titties. Yeah. I was a little Sean Connery, but like you've done it. Oh, that was a little. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. okay. Oh, we're workshop. Hello, man, I punny. Yeah, show me them turtish. <laughs> it's a little. That was sh- like Jeff Goldblum doing an impression uh, of Sean Connery. Uh, uh, show me them. Uh, 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 titties. Like huh? Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. Like what a daddy. Out of this world. Yeah, like, the, we the, were sleeping on that. I know that. Pe- people talk about Pedro Pascal being the like the zaddy. I think the original zaddy was. God damn, Jeff I can't. I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. 
the the open shirt and everything. Jeff Goldblum walked so that Pedro could run. Yeah. And God bless him. Have for you it. seen Have you seen Jeff Goldblum in The Fly? <laughs> no. That's I'm some, scared to watch that. That's film. some daddy shit. That's some flatty shit, right Why? there. Why? Because he turns into a fly. But is he like hot? I mean, he's like naked for a lot of it. What? He's like, like banging. Ween? Uh, he's banging. No, you don't see no ween. I mean, it's the eighties. Well, Come some on, fucking bullshit. I think you see his ass at some point. Noise. He's banging. Uh, oh, uh, Thelma and Luis, one of them. <gasps> um, Gina. Gina Davis. Oh. Gina Davis is in that one. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I'll watch it for that. Yeah. Oh, check it out. Oh, it's God, I love Gina Davis. Peak, and it's gory as. Fuck. I know, but flies are so nasty. It is gross. I feel like I would legitimately have nightmares from that. Probably. The only things that give me nightmares are all of my past trauma, so my whole life, and then bugs and, and water. Okay. So go home and watch The Fly, and then, and then Jaws. Deep Blue Sea, or yeah, Jaws. And then I'll just take all of Amber's sleeping pills there and just go. call it a night. Call It'll be it great. a night. There you go. Celebrating Halloween. Right? Um, so let's celebrate Halloween. And yes. tell me Tell me about this experience that, that you had recently that well, involves- do you want- do you want? But you had a spooky story too. Do, do you want? You can me tell to yours first. Fir- yeah, you can go first. Okay, oh, well, you like, know, what? yeah, yeah, go first. Yeah. I mean, you're a storyteller, so like you know. Yeah, but you know what the run of show uh, would the be. The bunk bed. <laughs> Was, is that great storytelling? I loved it. Wait, sorry. There's something in my eyes. Okay. So just Everybody look okay, away. So oh, it's I'll, an eyelash. I got it. <gasps> oh, that's the. Oh best. my god! It's like Christmas. Blow it. Make a wish. <laughs> Blow it away, Emmett Grace. <laughs> okay, I'll tell mine first because it's very, very quick. Okay. It's very, and I feel like yours is going to be better, so I'll I'll set us up okay. to be small, and then we go big. Okay. <laughs> so it better be fucking good. <laughs> no okay. Matter, I'm so okay. So uh, this okay has to do with our most recent short film, Scare Tag, which by the way, oh, Grace yeah. is in, and it's fantastic. In it's on the channel. You should check it out. It almost has ten thousand views on the channel. Oh, so go that. and check it out. Hit the like button. Leave your comments. Let us know what you thought about it. Whether you Ooh. liked it, or you thought it was okay, or you hated it. I love and reading the comments. Case? So do it. No, No, stop that. You're great, too. I've seen the comments. I read them all, and I appreciate all of them. The fact that anybody just watches it, that's all I care about. So go out there and check it out. Get us to 10,000 views by tomorrow. That's all I care about. Not really. but So it has to do with that. So there might be some minor spoilers. I'm going to try to tiptoe around it. Um, Wait, I love this. This is like when, like, Billy Freakin was talking about how haunted... Oh, like the exorcist, the exorcist that was. So it's not so much like it's not a haunted set thing or anything like that. It's just the circumstances around uh, basically how I came up with the story and how something happened in real life that almost recontextualizes everything. Wait, what the fuck? And I don't know this story. So, OK, so what I'll say is thank you. Jack Cohn says scare tag was awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. <gasps> Jack. Um, so uh, a big Part of the inspiration for Scare Tag was the passing of my grandfather. That was a, a yeah. big motivator for it. Um, the character in the short film, Neil, um, uh, uh, grieving over his lost friend. Uh, the, this, the character of Sam is sort of there to represent my grandfather in, in a lot of ways. And Neil is sort of representing me, what I was kind of going through, me and my family. Basically, like, all the characters and all yeah. the different stages of grief and whatnot. Um, so... Um, that was a big thing. And then um, a couple of weeks ago, I was hanging out with uh, family. And my mom was, uh, uh, someone brought up my grandfather just in, in passing. We were talking about him. And then my mom brings up, she's like, Christian, did I, did I tell you that your grandpa tried calling you? And I was like, what? She's like, your, your grandpa tried to call you. I was like, no, I got no, I did not see any numbers. Like his name, he didn't pop up. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, he knew he was dying. He knew he was passing away, and so he called me, my mom, me, me being my mom, and he told me this, and he said that he was trying to get a hold of all of his his grandsons, me, my two other brothers, and he was trying to get a hold of them. Apparently, he got a hold of my my brother Jacob. I I I haven't reached out to him because he's been busy, but I don't I don't know if he can confirm if he actually talked to my grandpa. But apparently, he called my mom to get the numbers of all of us and try to reach out. Why he didn't have my number, I don't know, like all these different things. But it was just wild to me that, that he is did try. Like, that's the, that's, it's like straight out it's of the, the whole reason. Cause mild spoilers, the, the whole reason why the character of Neil is feeling like shit throughout this whole uh, short film is that he, he missed a call from his friend Sam, and that would have been the last time he, he talked to him. And so my mom tells me this, and I was like, Mom, are you fucking like seriously? Like, he tried calling that me. Is literally crazy. And and I've never heard that story. She never told me that. And so she tells me that. I'm like freaking out. 
And and I, and I even my dad was like, wait, this story is about like my dad is about his dad. I was like, dad, I told you this, but you were drunk. He's like, oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and so I was like, I'm like sitting there, like holy fuck, like that's that was the whole that's the whole reason that this short that film crazy. like exists. So I was like tripping, but then I started getting my own head. I was like, fuck, did I? Did I actually miss his phone call? And yeah, I didn't yeah, even, yeah. like, if, if I saw some random number, because he was in Mexico when he passed away. So it would have been, you know, a, a, a yeah, number like I an, didn't an recognize or something. Number. So, uh, yeah, I was I was totally tripping out about that. that. Is it's crazy. so crazy. Because, I mean, you know, listen, I, I, I've, I told you this a bunch of times too. I'm not like much of a believer in, you know, ghosts or spirits or anything like that. But, you know, you can't take away like something like that. Like that's a real thing that yeah. has happened, you know, whether it's just a coincidence or if it is something beyond that, it's still yeah. like, you can't deny that that's pretty eerie There's something and crazy. There, there yeah. is, there is something there. Um, so I thought that was that's pretty, I was really like, wow, crazy. that's pretty crazy. And he's why? like up in heaven, like you're welcome for that dope. ass what? script. Oh, I was like, Oh, you, so you called Jacob. You didn't call <laughs> me. What, <laughs> why'd you, you call Jacob? him? Yeah. Um, and then even, it was even sweet. My parents were telling me cause my brother's in the air force yeah. and, um, uh, my my parents were telling me that uh, he my grandpa was always worried about him, like because you know uh, my brother's been to you know different countries and yeah. whatnot uh, all throughout his time, and yeah, he would scary. always call and ask about him and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I thought it was just I was like, wow, that's that's fucking crazy. That that's is crazy. super crazy. Yeah. So that's my story. You just better be so better. That's so yummy. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I to build on that, I have like kind of a spooky story, kind of along those lines. It's like a two second story. If you want to hear this one, it's kind of like a grandma story. Is this not the Ouija one? No, this is a completely different oh. story that you're making me think of. Oh, fuck yeah. More stories, the better. Spoken about publicly, not because I, you know, haven't, but like, so my grandma, who recently, um, who passed away, was like our second mom. We like lived mm -hmm. with her. She raised us. She like took me to school, took me to play practice, took me to dance. Mm -hmm. um, so she was like a mom. And so like really, really, really tough. And like mm -hmm. the day that she was passing for sure, I was like, I had spoken to her on the phone. I had FaceTimed with her. I had just seen her in person she was in Arizona and it was the day that it was, it was going to be the day. And I like the whole day I was, I just had this like crazy, just like buzz in the back of my head, just like mm. this weird distraction, this weird like energy. I couldn't figure it out. Cause I'm like, I, even if you don't believe it and I don't even know that I fucking do, but mm -hmm. like whatever it is, mm -hmm. like I'm tuned into it. Yeah. And so I was like, Oh my God. Like, and I was, it was giving me anxiety and I was yeah. like pushing it away and pushing it away. And I was trying to work, trying to work, trying to do stuff. And I was sitting on the couch, and I had my laptop and I like couldn't, it was getting so loud. It was like this buzzing that I couldn't oh. ignore it anymore. And so I literally closed my laptop and like in my head, like psychically, I told my grandma, I was like, we're going to be okay. It's okay. Like you can go. Oh. And I'm telling you five seconds later, five seconds later, got, my sister called me Oh, whoa! and she had literally just gone. So was this, was this a, like, uh, like for her, a thing that you were all were expecting? Like it was like, it was happening. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's it was crazy. fast, but it like it was the you know, it it snowballed at the end, yeah. but it wasn't like today. Like yeah, it was yeah, for yeah. sure, you know, because there's lots of really interesting things that people who are about to pass start doing. Yeah, like they start to see people who are dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they right. start to do like weird things you're with their a, arms. You're a little Doctor Sleep over here. Like, yeah. wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and I like, and I think I was in denial about it because it's like I didn't want to say goodbye, but mm -hmm. finally I was just like, I can't ignore this anymore. And I like just like closed my eyes and like had this moment. I was like, we're gonna be okay. I love yeah. you. Like. I'll never be able to tell you how much you've meant to me, but like you can go, you can go. Yeah, and literally, Don called wow. me. It was crazy. Yeah, it's it is crazy. I mean, that's I think, and it immediately went away. Like my mind immediately cleared. Yeah, like Whoa. I think she was just like waiting all day for me to be like, we're good. Dang, that's a little selfish of grandma. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I was like, Damn, she's sassy. Yeah, that's so cool. That I think that's the thing is is I think I used to be a lot more cynical when it came to like ghosts and, yeah. and spirits and stuff, but. Maybe it's just me being older. Well, when or, you experience more, or maybe loss. I think I think that's what it is. Is like the older you get, the more you do experience it. Because like yeah. I have, I've experienced death in like, I would say, I mean, a lot growing up. But it was like three really big moments in my life, and mm. all very different stages of my life. Yeah. The first time, I was literally in third grade, and it was my yeah, like, great grandfather Aww. dead. And, and I remember he was like on the ground and my family wanted me to like kiss him goodbye. And I was like, no, I don't want it. I oh was like, God. I was freaked the fuck out. Yeah. I didn't know what any of this meant. I was like, right. he's 
dad, what are you talking about? It's gonna, too big for that yeah, little of a brain. Like he's going to get up. What are you talking about? So it, it was at the first stage. It was like not understanding it. Yeah. Then uh, my, my great grandma, his wife passed away when I was a junior in high school. Oh wow. And that was literally, we, that was an ex like we were kind of just waiting for her. She had cancer. So we were just Aww. like, let her pass so that she's not in pain anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember we were literally driving me and my cousin, he picked me up from school driving to make it to say bye to her. And by the time we got there, she had already been passed. And I remember feeling like shit, like, oh, fuck. Like, cause my cousin Chase, he lived with her. Like they were living, she yeah. was living in the house with them. And like, I, I felt bad that like I, as if I was the one holding him up for all yeah, that, know you know, you like, so I was like beating myself up. So like, that was the second time. And then the third time, the biggest one was my grandfather, the most recent one. Um, and it, when I, when you experience all those things, I think, I don't know. Like when I think of that in, in terms of like a ghost story, like that's, that's the story. Like that's, yeah. those are the moments that you have with them and whether, whether it's real or whether it's not, you are having that experience with or around that person so who is anybody to say it's not real or it's not real? You know, yeah, exactly. You, yeah. you have those moments. You yeah, know? I'm like, explain it. Like, I'm totally open to whatever yeah. the fuck it is, but yeah. you can't explain that. Yeah, no, I, even because I used to be like, well, there's probably a logical explanation. You probably had a head, you know, like I, yeah. I, 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 I'm not really interested that much anymore. Yeah. And like, I know trying mean. to decipher that. Maybe I think part of me is like, I don't think. And maybe this could be kind of interesting to think about. Like, I don't think you can actually capture ghosts or spirits on camera. Like, I'd, maybe there's just something there where, like, that's just not possible, but the experience is. Interesting. You know, like, I like I, I like the notion of that. Um, it's almost more, it's almost like more, I don't know, not classy, but I don't know. Uh, meaningful if you experience mm, it and you, you can mean. and you can pass on that actual ghost story to somebody because yeah. you know even even if like a real apparition I mean you know there are countless videos of that online totally. and stuff constantly going around but it's like can you really prove that but I think what really matters is just the experience that you have yeah you know? I so, love that yeah I know I think there's a lot to be said too for like technology because it's like we can see jack shit yeah, on the spectrum yeah. like what we can visibly see is so fucking pathetic yeah, yeah yeah so i'm fascinated by like cameras being able to to capture things that we can't see and yeah. like evps like yeah like technology being able to hear like or like dogs like dogs oh, are really sensitive because yeah. they can hear shit we can't hear so yeah. i feel like we're so ignorant like we're just walking around basically just like deaf and dumb and it's like mm -hmm. there's probably so much shit going around yeah. us but i know what you i like i like that a lot yeah uh, that's great. That's great. No, that I mean, really and, cool. yeah, those are moments. That's that's how they live on. That's the story of your, your yeah. of your grandma. That's how. That's her legacy. That's how. That's not just that, but <laughs> no, that is how mean. the fact that you're telling the story about her. That's how she lives on. You know, that's yeah. how she keeps going. You know, and you yeah, you and keep it's like what the stories. fuck? Like, and I've never experienced anything like that before or since. Mm -hmm. And I've also had a lot of death. And also the night before, I had had a dream that her brother came to her house and came and got her. Whoa and who had passed on long ago mm -hmm. and we didn't know like we knew that morning that like today was the day so it's not yeah. like i went to bed being like this is it and i was like i had a dream that my great uncle who was her brother came and got her and, and i found out later i'm sure i'd probably maybe heard this but apparently it's like a thing that a lot of mediums will say that like when you cross over like a loved one who's already on the other side will mm -hmm. like guide you over there and i yeah. was like oh fuck yeah i was like well of course it would be him yeah so See, and that's and that's so much and uh, like that yeah, like like if you're like lying on your deathbed and you're in your final moments you you just want comfort you know you, yeah. in your in your final things and I I still think about I think about death a lot like uh, too much are you afraid I yes and no okay it's, I know yes and no is a terrible answer but no, like it's okay. the notion of if I think about it too hard then yeah. I'm like fuck what is like what is dead yeah because we like, can't our brains you can't, can't do comprehend it, it. Yeah. but then. When I start to think the more peaceful side of it, yeah. it's like, well, that, all that worry is gone. Yeah. All the stresses and anxieties and yeah, paranoia. Like all the bullshit. All <laughs> the sadness. Everything, every bit of emotion that I've ever had is just gone. And it's just. I think the love stays. I think so. I think the heavier emotions. Yeah. Like uh, the human emotions. I'm yeah. Like, nah, I'm going to be late for work. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just endless, eternal sleep. <laughs> yeah. Like that's it. And, um, you know. Obviously, if there is something on the other side, then pff, that would be that would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, or I'll just you know, uh, technology is going to take over, and then I'll upload my consciousness to yeah. uh, a machine and live on and party all day. I don't Dope. know. 
Uh, and in that case, yeah, then let's do all the drugs and we'll yeah, just put you on thing. the lazy river for eternity. <sighs> I know. You're welcome. Okay. I take back with sharks. I take. <laughs> I take You're back. Like, I've lived a good life. I'm ready. What to go. I think about, I do think there is a heaven, and it is. And this is for everybody. It's lazy river and sharks. <laughs> it's just an endless lazy river. Yes. Oh God, heaven is just my couch with my Ken, my dogs, mm-hmm. my go shows, my blankie. Oof. I do like the idea That's that it. we all we've all been dead and we're in hell right now. And then once we do I die, actually we think move there's on. A lot of I like if there is a hell, this is it. It's pretty bad. Like if yeah. like uh, you go through life and you see all these terrible things that are going on and you're like, no, it's, so there's like, something worse than this. No, a hundred percent. No. Okay. So like, I'm like, this is an eternal lake yeah. of fire. Seven rings of hell. The most mm. like hateful violence Try everywhere. Sitting through like, no. a house speaker, uh, 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 voting panel. Well, you, you know, know, the gays are going to dismantle the complete, the whole democracy, Christian. I mean, so we have to be ready for we that. We have to get, We're we have to you. get rid of drag queens. They're just such a, a damage <laughs> to young kids all around. Have you yeah. read these books? I mean, these books are talking about sex. Sex. It's an atrocity. Pornography, titties, <laughs> all the things. Just highly inappropriate. Um, but, you know. Billy came home talking about titties. Then we have pedophiles just running Congress. Yeah, it's you know great. what I mean? So it's just, it's just. It's a lot of fun. Gotta love it. Gotta love I it. I highly recommend. Okay, so your other story. What, what happened? Oh, what my it? God. No, I'm just laughing at the comments because I can finally see them. Okay, this is, this is like, buckle up, kids. Hit me up with some of that good shit. Hit, Hit me up, up with some of that, that TJ's good shit. Ken, this Coastal. is wine from Trader Joe's. Ken, don't be afraid. I'm so nervous. Don't I'm be afraid of Trader Joe's. You oh, Jesus. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Too I much? mean. Hey. If you don't finish, I'll finish. You whatever. know, it's a it's a getting ripe on a Monday. It's just a Monday. You know, try three bottles a week during COVID. Um, <laughs> that's probably not even that bad. But from TJ's, it was like five bucks total. Very, very cheap. Just saying. Okay. Coastal Merlot. Okay, so. We got some more spooky stuff. All right. So I'm going to use, I'm I'm going to try and be as, as clear as I can because I don't want to use names just like to be as respectful as I can. Mm-hmm. So I was having a girl's night this past weekend with two of my really close girlfriends and then two additional women that I didn't know that I had never met, mm-hmm. but who were both fantastic. So, t- so five of us total. And the girls were like, we would really love to do a Ouija board. And there's so much fucking fear and rhetoric around Ouija boards. Like, people are like, you've opened a portal to hell. I was telling, like, I was showing it. I think that. you posted a, on Instagram a story or, or yeah. a post. And I was showing Amber, and she was like, oh, yeah, she's going to talk about some kind of Ouija board. I was going to, I was joking with her, like, oh, let's bring the, I'm going to tell her to bring the Ouija board. She's like, no. Yeah, people are like, not in my house. Yeah. And it's like, and I mean, like, five years ago, I probably would have said the same thing. But I was, mm-hmm. like, stupid and didn't know who I was, like, even last week. So, I, you know, you live and learn. But. There's a lot of fear around it, and it's just like, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that. Okay. So it's the five of us. We're doing the thing, and they were like, will you, like, lead us through? Because there's a way to do it. There's mm-hmm. a technique. Not that you, not that it's like if you fuck it up, you're going to, you know, summon Satan. Mm-hmm. But you should do it respectfully. So it's like you clear the space with sage. We I, like, did a little circle just to be like, you know, it's called, or, like, casting a circle. But yeah. people are like, we're scared. You're, it's just a circle of like clearing the energy. Mm-hmm. So it's like sage, the thing, all the stuff. So we're sitting on this little, it's like a coffee table like this, but like a big round one, and we're all sitting on the ground around nice. it. Ama- like it would have been the best shot. Like it was yeah. a great scene. Um, and like all these like hot bitches. It was great. I was like, this is my dream. Hell yeah. Um, so we're doing it. I open it up. You know, like we set very firm boundaries, any beings of love and light. If you want to come and communicate with us, like we're open to it. We come with respect, like blah, blah, blah. Doing all the right things, setting the boundaries. Which is exactly what you do when you're doing Reiki or yeah. really anything. Um, so we did it. And it started to very, 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 very slowly. And I've never done a Ouija board like this. Mm. And it Have was, you done it r- regularly, I guess? No, before, not at not all. Not and I certainly, no. And I hadn't done it with this board. This was a brand new board that I got for this party. Because they were like, Grace, I'm sure you have a Ouija board. And I was like, <laughs> I don't. Like, uh, who am I? It's our mat on our front porch. Oh, it, I know. I, I want to get a little planchette tattoo. But mm-hmm. um, so I got like the OG one, like the yeah. old school with like the shitty. And I mean, it was just insane because there was moments where the planchette would move so quickly. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even know where my shot is right now, but it's like 
it would sometimes jolt so quickly mm. that my hand would have to catch up to it. Like it would go like whoosh, out from underneath our hands. And all of your hands are on it too, right? We did because there was five of us and we ended up doing, uh, just each of us would do two fingers. Okay. There okay. was a couple times when we did a fewer amount do. of people, you know, just... <laughs> Um, so I keep these ones short. No, okay. Now we're getting gross, but just two fingers. Cause it's actually, you know, for five people, it's not a lot of space. Um, as you do. So it starts moving a hundred percent moving. And like we all, and I said, I was like, look guys, I don't like, if we're going to do this, we should do it right. Like, don't be stupid. Don't be silly. Like this yeah. is actually, if we're going to open up a communication channel, like we should do it respectfully and mm -hmm. not be stupid. So, and everybody was totally on board. Nobody was going to move it, Yeah. but we pinky promise like nobody be stupid. Nobody be funny. So nobody was moving it. And it started moving a hundred, very, very slowly for this first round, which mm -hmm. is important for later. Ooh. But very, very slowly it started to move and it goes to the S, it goes to the E, and then it goes to the A. So I was like, oh fuck, it's gonna spell seance. No. <laughs> it's, like like, <laughs> it's like Seattle. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's a I was like, oh my God, Seattle. it knows what we're doing. <laughs> like I was all excited. And then it uh -huh. just stopped like full stop. Oh, so then, see. so this one woman that was there, who again, they were both amazing, was so happy to hang out with both of them. And she, who I had not met before was like, Oh, well, does like C mean anything to me? Like the ocean mm -hmm. um, to anybody. And everybody was like, oh, because I was thinking it was going to say seance. So I wasn't thinking C at all. And she was like, well, does that have any meaning to anybody? Yes, it does. And, <laughs> and we, well, we were all like, no, not at all. And I was like, does it mean anything to you? And she was like, well, my grandfather passed away on the beach, which is a very irregular yeah, way to pass. That's, yeah. And I guess he lived by the ocean and was on a walk on a beach and had passed away. Um, beautiful place to go, I guess. Yeah. Right? yeah. So he, you know, passed where he was happy, presumably. Mm -hmm. So we were all like, oh shit. Like, okay. So I'm here thinking like, oh yeah. See Catalina. Hello. <laughs> it's like double, golf double cards? meaning. I think the, the passing of her, her grandfather is probably the, the more meaningful. It's probably one, yeah. that one. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But so I was like, what's your grandfather's name? And she was like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, if this is blah, 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 move to the yes. And it did. Like went Ooh. all the way to the yes. And we were yeah. all like, ha, ha, ha. like nips are hard. We were like, <laughs> all right, shit. So then I was like, okay, so uh, if I'm I'll, John, I'll just going to say John. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, so John, do you have a message for so-and-so your granddaughter? And then it just goes over. Cause like the yes and the no are at the top of the board. So it goes from the yes. And then it just slowly goes all the way to the very tip of the board, almost off the board and just points to her. Cause a planchette is like an upside down heart. Yeah. And so there's like a point and it just took the point and just pointed at her for mm. like five minutes. And we were like, message received. So yeah. we were like, okay, so this is definitely for this woman. Got it. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, do you have any messages for her? And again, very, very, very slowly. It goes to the N, it goes to the E, it goes to the V, it goes back to the E. And because he was going so, so slowly, I was like, hey, John, if it's easier for you to just go to the yes symbol, if you're trying to spell never, just mm. go to yes, because R is way over here and yes was right here. Mm -hmm. And he does. He goes to yes. Oh. And we were like, oh, Never. Shit. I was thinking, like, oh, is he going to spell November? And is that when he passed <laughs> away or something like that? And we like were like, that? but it's oh October. Oh, my gosh. I know. And it's crazy, too, because it's like none of us were, like, your subconscious can't move it in a way that we're like, oh, I hope it says this. Because like, yeah. we didn't know you, Collectively, any of this. you can't. Yeah. We didn't even, half of us didn't even know each other. So it goes to yes. And then it starts to go to G. And then it goes to I. And then I was like, hey, John, if you're trying to spell give easier for you once again feel free to just go to the yes it does mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it goes to the u and to the p so it spells out never give up from her grandfather Whoa. which is like a very sweet message to get yeah. from a grandparent but also kind of generic so we were like hey like does that mean anything See, like a rick, rick, specific rick and roll to fan like yeah we were like does that you, you know or? resonate with you and she was like well and it comes to find out she's going through a very difficult time mm -hmm. she literally moved across the country for her ex-boyfriend, they had been, she'd only been in LA for three months and they broke up last week. Whoa. Now she's moving back to the East Coast. It's like this really crazy, like tumultuous time in her life. And she's having a really hard time. She was saying that she was having a really hard time with it. You know, she was like, it was all meant to be blah, blah, blah. But she was like, yeah. So it's just been like a very difficult time. And we were like, oh, so a, a probably great time for yeah. grandpa to come through and say, like, yeah. never give up. So we were like, well, shit, that's very uh, validating. And then she was like, yeah, I was also his favorite granddaughter. And we were like, 
super validating. <laughs> and yeah. then she was like, oh, and he's also come through when I've worked with other mediums. And we were like, holy shit. Okay, we were well, like, oh, yeah, it's a grandpa. That information would have been good to us like, yesterday. But also, like, it just f- further fucking validates it. Because it's not like we were like, I know your grandpa died. Like, we literally yeah, yeah, just yeah. met. Had no idea. So it was fucking crazy. And me and this other woman that I had met that evening, the candle between us, a lot of those letters, if you're familiar with a Ouija board, are, like, kind of in this, like, bottom left-hand corner because it was facing towards me because I was kind of like hosting it and all whenever the planchette was in this corner there was a candle in between us but not like underneath us to where we would breathe on it or anything like that it was totally yeah oh this is great thank you yeah it was in between us in a space where it wouldn't we wouldn't affect the flame Mm -hmm. unless we were fanning it or something like that and like no ac no windows no fan no nothing and obviously we're all like this still you know we're all like oh my god and whenever the planchette was close to it it Mm -hmm. would start to go out and then come back in but it's not like it would go out and then smoke it was like somebody was turning the lights on and off it was literally like goodbye oh i'm back it was like i'm alive i'm dead like we were literally like what the fuck someone's got a little so it was literally yeah it was like a dimmer yeah a dimmer and it would like it would completely disappear like the flame would be gone we'd be like oh the candle went out but there would be no smoke and like a second later like a beat and not like a split second like a solid beat later like it would pop back up Titties, kind of beat, <laughs> and it was like titties. titties yeah, we were like, oh, I grab it. Yeah. you. No, whoa, that's cool. So that happened, mm-hmm. and it was absolutely insane. It gets better. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna have a sip of this tea. You're gonna have a sip of that. T. Goslin mm, in the chat mm, says, mm. so bizarre. I was just scrolling, scrolling through a YouTube feed, and an article popped up. Uh, I think from the New York Post. Uh, and it was an article with quote from priest saying Ouija boards are really dangerous. That's the they're that's not. The, well, I'm saying that's the algorithm just like peeking in through the speakers and then picking it up. Uh, ask that priest what he really thinks is dangerous. Your secret service agent yeah. is like, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> but so then, my girlfriend had brought. Uh, she unfortunately had a friend, a dear friend, pass away two years ago. Um, who died young, who died mm-hmm. at 40, which is obviously mm-hmm. horrific. And she had brought with her a framed photo of her and this girlfriend and also an eight ball. And like this eight ball was like this, uh, like kind of like an inside joke that they had. Mm-hmm. They'd known each other for a long, 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 long time. Um, and they like apparently always like played with it and used it. And it was like kind of this inside joke that they had so much so that when she passed, she knew she was passing. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and when her friend passed, she was like, was very like s- significant or, uh, just she made sure that Haley got the the my girlfriend Haley got mm-hmm. the the eight ball because it was like that meaningful to her. Wow, to the two of them. So she brought this framed photo of the two of them and the eight ball, and she was like, "I really want to see if we can channel this friend." Mm-hmm. So I was like, "No problem." So we were like, "Hey, John, the grandpa, like, thank you so much." Blah blah blah. Like, close that out, and then we like opened it up again, and I was like, "So Mercedes, like, your two girlfriends, because like our my other friend also knew her, and they were very close." So I was like, "Your two close girlfriends are here. You know, they love you. They miss you. If you have any messages, blah 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 blah." And then my one girlfriend was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if she just says, like, hey, what's up, bitches? And we were all like, ha-ha, yeah, that would be funny. Huh? And then it starts moving, and it starts moving, like, like movie theater fast. Like, it was literally, like, <laughs> drooming, which I thought was so interesting because it was like the grandpa was going so oh, goddamn yeah. fucking slow. And then this girl <laughs> was, like, young, and she was like, oh, I know what this is. And it was, yeah, like, yeah. fucking lightning. So I was like, that is crazy. So it was really interesting to see that because it was like a drastic change in yeah. speed between the two of them. And those That's were the cool. only two people that we channeled. So we were just like, ha, okay, this is crazy. Um, we're all like sweating, like mustache yeah. sweat. <laughs> <laughs> what it did she so spell the, the first time? Was it bitches? Or? <laughs> so, she's, so she went to the F and she went to the U. Oh, okay. So I was like, hey, if you're trying to say fuck, if it's easier for you to just go to the yes instead of to keep spelling it out, go to yes. Mm-hmm. And she goes to yes. And we were mm-hmm. all like, oh. That's and of course, great. that was like just like her shit, like a potty mouth, you know, like all of the cool ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we were like, oh my God, that's amazing. And then she goes over, and I was like, okay, so what's the first letter of the second word that you want to say? And she goes over to the B and the C. And we thought that she landed on the B. It was kind of in between, but mm-hmm. it was more so we thought on the B. Mm-hmm. So we were like, oh, is she trying to say fuck bitches? Like, wouldn't that be funny? That's just what you said. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And then it like flies across the board and goes, no. And we were like, oh, sorry. Okay, so you're not trying to say fuck bitches. So what are you trying to say? And then she goes back to the C. And we were like, oh, we thought you were on the B. Did you actually land on the C? C. And then it just parked like perfectly on top of the C for like a minute. So we were like, okay, we think you meant the C and we just thought you meant the B. Like, my bad. (gasps) And then I said, hey, are you trying to say fuck cancer? Because that's that's how she died. That's what I was just thinking. And it literally flew to the yes. Whoa. And like these other, like they didn't even know how she had pat, like it was crazy. And 
it flies to the air. So we're all like, oh, we're sitting there. We're in this dark room. We have like a million candles everywhere. <clears throat> in the corner of the room, we hear like something break, like a glass shatter or like something. <laughs> and I mean, it was like loud. Yeah. It was not a joke. It wasn't like a little something creak. It was something loud to where we all like did our little like 10 year old <laughs> girl screams. We're all like, what the fuck? And we we're like, what the fuck is that? So we like had, we like turned the flashlights on on our iPhones and we're going over. And in the corner of the room on a little end table, there was this tall blue candle holder that had like these kind of like uh, rivets, you know, yeah, like a fancy, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, like tall thing. And literally the top of this blue candle holder that's like this big, like literally a perfect diagonal, the top of the candle looked like it had been perfectly sliced off like by Whoa. a katana and the candle top had fallen onto the table. What the fuck? And we were literally like, Duh. And then as we're looking at it, as we figured out what it was, the wick was still stuck at the top, but the corner, like half of what was holding it up had broken mm-hmm. off. So it had gone out completely. Not like the smoke had already cleared. That's how So long the candle it had was lit out. for that one already too? It had been. And Evan, then when yeah. the glass broke, it went out. Like, and smoke Ooh. went and we were like, blah. And we were like looking at the glass, not thinking about the wick at all. Yeah. And then the wick, the candle holder was hollow. Mm. So the wick fell to the bottom of the bottle. Here's like the oh. piece that's broken off. Uh-huh. And for like a split second went like, boof, and like blew up the bottle with flame. Like literally the whole candle like lit up, like lit up the Whoa. whole bottle. And we're all like screaming, like jumping back, like, holy shit. <laughs> okay, like, we're so done. We were like, Close the circle. message received. We were like, God damn. Whoa. So then we like settled and we came back and I was like, okay, so clearly, and then my girlfriend is freaking out and it's like, obviously like straight up, fucking poltergeist activity so it's mm-hmm. like yeah like no wonder but she was like there there was seemed to be more and i was like what and she was like this girl that we were channeling she collected antique blue glass and the candle Whoa. holder was an antique blue glass candle holder and we had easily 20 candles at this party and this wasn't her house too right? no no, no not at all someone else's yeah it was someone else's house and we had easily like no joke, probably 20 candles in the house. It was the only blue one. That's it a was fire the, hazard. Oh, it was a fire hazard for sure. <laughs> the house is, do- is gone. Like, it's all smoldering. But it was wow. the only fucking blue one in the whole house. All of the rest were, like, pink and peach and beige wow. and black. It was the only blue one. And apparently she collected blue antique glass and she broke it um, she so was we were a, all was like, she a katana uh, I guess, wielder, I, too? I don't know. I mean, it was so clean. And so, so that happened. And we were like, oh, shit. So we go back to the table and I was like, okay, so if she specifically chose this blue glass that would have only meant something to her friend who knew her that well, she can clearly see this room. So I was yeah. like, so if you can see this room, is there? do you want to move anything else? Do you want to make any more noise? Do you want to reference anything in this room? Mm-hmm. Like, can you see us? And it fly, it's still on the yes from fuck cancer. And it's on the yes, we get back on, we're like, okay, do you want to say anything else? It flies to the eight. And the only thing that's on this coffee table oh, the fucking eight ball. is a Ouija board, a couple candles, the framed photo of her and her friend, and the fucking eight ball. Wow. That she like that Hell meant yeah. so much to them that she literally brought it to our seance. Yeah. And it goes to the that's, eight. That's such a like a, a character. Like that's like a character thing. That's like in in fucking horror movies. Oh yeah, all the friends they have their eight ball and stuff. That's yeah. fucking wild. It was fucking insane. So we closed it after that because it. I mean, we were. I was like, I think we're good. Like, yeah. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we like, got what we needed. I think we're yeah. all pretty satisfied. Yeah. But at no point did we get anything that was nonsensical. At no point did we get any letters that didn't spell anything. Like everything that we got, I I've told you. Like yeah. we didn't get any weird nothing. Like yeah. we only got stuff that was very applicable to the people there that most that nobody could have faked we'd only met that evening nobody knew that her fucking yeah. you know what i mean like nobody knew anything did you guys did you guys call it because they're like okay two is enough like were y'all cuz there was five you said right yeah there was five of us were, were you were you, like you planning on reaching out to somebody or is it were you guys just going to do like the two and like okay that's enough for tonight no you want i mean if you want to know like the real <laughs> the real fucking answer is cuz we were tired cuz it oh, was okay, late yeah 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 um, it was like nine o'clock. But I've thought about it since because it's like I left the point of this story is that I left this being so uplifted. It was so yeah. positive. Mm-hmm. It was so encouraging. It was so comforting. It was like all the things that I wanted it to be. And I'm and then like later Ken was like, Why didn't you film it? And I was like, Why didn't I film it? Like <laughs> stupidest thing ever. 
No, it's it goes, like we yeah. literally got like the craziest planchette movement. Mm-hmm. We had weird candle shit. We had poltergeist shit. Yeah. We had flint. Like it was everything I wanted it to be. And I was like, yeah. there's so much unnecessary fear. It's just a communication yeah. tool. I mean, yeah, sure. Recording it would have been would have been nice. I but know. It, but it, but it, but again, it goes back. Also to, like it goes back to what we were talking about earlier about the it, experiencing it. Like you have that. So I'm sure people listening would be like oh i'm sure you know like try to come up with like logical explanations for yeah, everything which but you it, should sure but, i did but it doesn't but it doesn't matter is the fact that you guys had that shared experience with each yeah. other that's more personable personal and yeah you know something that you can cherish with the five of you yeah, that's an experience really the five like of you the, have. the woman whose grandpa came in she was like wigging out she was like texting her sister and like my girlfriends were like crying like mm-hmm. it was very very cool and i thought later Cause I wasn't gonna, I'm a very, <laughs> I'm very private. Uh, so I probably wouldn't have shared something thought to have done it yeah. then. But later I was like, oh shit. Because I, I had a very, very, very dear friend pass earlier this year and it was mm-hmm. devastating and it still is. Life is great. Um, and so I was like, well shit, I didn't know what a fucking Ouija board goddess I am. And I was like, well, maybe I'll see if Next he time. wants to say anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it was really crazy. But the point is, is that it's just a communication tool. Right. If you're fucking being like, hey, Satan, is that you? Like, you're going to get what you, you're going to get back what, what you're you put out. Yeah, so it's yeah. like if you're asking to be scared and if you're asking for evil, like mm-hmm. that energy is going to accumulate yeah. and try to spook you. Yeah, and I think, I mean, if we're talking about like a logical explanation, you guys are obviously putting out a positive energy. Exactly. So even if it, it is sort of like a a, a biased movement or it, sure. it, it it doesn't matter is the fact that you're going in positive hoping for a positive outcome and you got that so and that's exactly how all of those things work yeah. that is literally the same as tarot cards that is literally the same as prayer yeah prayer uh, is yeah. literally just a communication tool that works because it's mm. just intention based yeah and our intentions infuse the molecule molecules around yeah. us infuse like well, the we, subatomic particles we just need more thoughts and prayers and then all gun violence will just end in Shit, the united states I know. you know that's all we i need. wish i'd thought of that yeah it's pretty thoughts good and prayers you need to think you need to pray harder is Shit. honestly what Not it is the first time i heard that just pray harder just pray harder and then, and then it'll go away yeah <laughs> just go away um that yeah, that's 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 awesome. I did I did I w- when you were talking about this, I w- I was thinking about the, the sort of negative connotation a Ouija board has, yeah. and that's it's obviously mostly religion. Like I we gotta yeah. call it what it is. That's that's what I wanted to bring like bring up like the difference yeah. between like I don't know like that negative energy or like. Because people think Ouija board, they think, oh, we're gonna enter like a demon is gonna be is gonna, gonna come, come in, in here and and and, and it's like, wreck well, don't call like if I go to my phone and I'm like, beep beep beep, Satan, like yeah. who do you think's gonna answer? Like, and yeah. I don't even believe in Satan or demons, right? But I think there's definitely any there's energy that's heavier, evil, darker, or darker energy. Yeah, and I don't yeah. even know what I think about like good and evil. I think there's just light, and I think there's dark. I think there's light, and there's heavy. Yeah. So it's like you're gonna if you go in being like, hope the Zozo demon doesn't haunt me. I'm like, Zozo. well, yeah. I like Zozo. That's yeah. pretty good. Well, that's a real thing. Zo the Zozo demon. Yeah, Google it. I'm don't sorry. Be a Darren. If you're gonna if you're gonna be a or demon, don't Google it if you're scared. <laughs> no, I'm just saying if you're gonna be a demon and call yourself Zozo, I'm not well, gonna... Well, because it's... Well, this is really getting into... It. Like, the true, like, spooky people will get it. But, like, on a Ouija board, like, Z and O are on opposite sides. And so it goes like this, and it goes in, like, a rainbow formation. It spells oh. out Zozo over and over Oh, again. but it's people a rainbow? People are like, it's Zozo demon. It's a rainbow, well, he's though? gay, yeah. Oh, is he really? He is of the devil. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm some gob gobble. I hope so. Because conservatives and they don't like the gays, and so they'd no, be like, they like, "Oh, that's anybody. evil." No, no, they like they like they like their guns, and they like well, that's true. Uh, and bigotry, bigotry, racism, sexism. They like marrying really, really young. They like controlling. Yeah, that's called pedophilia. Young women. Yeah, you know of, of their bodies. So all natural things. It's the American. Totally, just chill. The American way. And also, it's like if you're so fearful that you're literally afraid that your fucking Monopoly board is gonna haunt you, like whoa, 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 reevaluate whoa, whoa. your views. We Ouija boards one thing. <laughs> Don't bring Monopoly Don't into this. Do not I'm pass. Like, Look, go. shoots and ladders. Do is not pass. Haunt your house. <laughs> do not pass to. Go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Take it easy, okay? There be you want to see some real scary shit? Play a game of fucking Monopoly with me and my family. That I would love nothing more. There was one summer Monopoly slaps like dude. Well, have you finished a Monopoly game? 
Oh, we need. Yes. To, we need what to am fu- I five? We need to fucking play because I played with people. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I played. Oh, because they like puss out. Well, yeah, because like, oh, are we really gonna play a full game? I'm like, are you fucking for real right now? Like, are you gonna come in here with this negative energy? Are you looking and not at this stack of orange and blue money I have? Talk like, about goddamn right. They, they coming in and not having a clean and positive circle opening up. Coming in here being negative about Monopoly. You got to sage your Monopoly board. There was there was one summer where me and my friends spent like a whole summer, like multiple weekends, hours up into late into the night. Sometimes we'd stop and come back the next morning where we played nothing but Monopoly. And this is the most wholesome, precious thing I've ever heard in my life. We've finished whole games of Monopoly many a times, and you know, it's you obviously great. like. You obviously create your own little rules, like here and there. <laughs> You're like, look, you, yeah. I cheated the whole time. Yeah, there's alliances, <laughs> like, and friendships may have Ooh. temporarily ended for a is little there like bit. A Game of Thrones Monopoly board. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there Let's is. Let's play that one. Where like the brothers and sisters are all fucking. In oh the yeah, I yeah, just want yeah, the incest yeah. one. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Game I mean, of that's, Thrones. That's all it is. Yeah, that's all it. I mean, I guarantee Sick. there's a Game of Thrones one for yeah. sure. I yeah. have a Game of Thrones tarot deck. Then yes, there's a monopoly, which is pretty board. dope actually. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's that's... really well done. Oh, okay, that's All legit. Right. Okay, where is Shit. that deck? You gotta find that deck. I think I gifted it to my sister, because the like lore mm. around decks is that you're supposed to be gifted them. I don't really yet. You should always subscribe be, to that, but you should never be gifted a deck. <laughs> Sweet dick. I got gifted a deck this week. It's like a witchy thing people do. Okay, it was a real. D- okay, all right. It's, it's going a, in and out an of oracle card deck. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. No, you were making it dirty, but I appreciated it. Well, you were too. I am who I am. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I am right. Zozo. I got, I'm gonna little demon. Google. I'm gonna Google Zozo tonight. I always do think it's it's funny because I and I I think a little bit of Ouija boards were probably tainted by movies a lot because probably, yeah. they're always. I mean, we were talking with the exorcist earlier. She literally, there's no explanation as to why or how the demon possesses this little girl. Reagan. But, Reagan, but, you know, she is playing with a Ouija board at some point. I'm actually reading the book right now, and it talks about it just a little Ooh. bit more that she was, you know, going through. Because in the, the oh, I should read this book. It's fucking great. It, it just, I'm kind of it's, tempted it's now. literally the movie just expanded. They go in a little bit more. Like in the book, she, the Reagan, uh, 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 Chris McNeil, who's yeah. Ellen Burstein, um, she talks about uh, like in the book, she had a son that had passed away at a young age. So now that just recontextualizes her emotions towards Reagan because. Uh, she's like, because she's a young, yeah, and she doesn't want to lose that, you know. Um, so there's a lot of cool That's things in in the actual book that you well, know. And the obviously, actual story is is based off a boy. Yeah, a little the boy. Actual OG exorcist from was like a kid. Can't remember. Yeah, because Will and Peter Blatty I say like South America or something. Heard that story and he thought like I think the boy ended up being fine. Um, but yeah, I, even even the talk um, that that Chris has with both in the book and the movie with uh, the priest. Oh, yeah. Karis. God, and it's he, been a fucking minute since I've watched it. Ken, oh, I don't think would watch it with me. You should watch oh, gee, you No, know, not him. I mean, I could watch it by myself, I guess. <laughs> watch the director's cut, too, because there's Ooh. some good... I mean, they're well, both I, great, I, but... I worked with... Not as an actor, but, like, I worked with Billy Freakin, with William Freakin. Oh, that's right. You like, did. You I told me about yeah. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to w- literally watch him this close to me tell, talk about... Everything that was fucking haunted about the set for two God. plus fucking hours. R.I.P. Man, he Never was such sweat a sweat so much he, in my life. He was, but it was such worth a gem. It. There's so many great sound bites of him just because yeah. he, he he loved it. He's just he a was wild so dude. So into it, yeah. And he was a wild, wild dude. Yeah, um, that's great. I love that. Um, so it yeah, cracks me up though because I know I actually might read that. Um, <clears throat> it cracks you up because well, it just cracks me up because I feel like religion is like the witchiest fucking thing of all time, and then those are the people who are the most offended by like you're making moon water, you witch, and I'm yeah. like, bro, you're drinking blood and eating flesh. Like, who's doing rituals here between the two of us? Yeah, I think it's you, boo boo. Like, and they water that shit down too. You can't even get a little buzz off of that. It's disgusting. That yeah. cr- I went, I had to go to. I unfortunately was raised very, very Christian. And by that, I mean Ooh, in a cult. Uh-huh. But I had a girlfriend who was Catholic, and I had to go to mass with them once, and they gave me that ass nasty cracker. Still scarred. Yeah, it, I always I was uh, like, what is this, tissue paper? I always said it tasted like a- No uh, offense like a, to anybody. Like an ice cream cone. 
kind of like uh, just by <laughs> like itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but one of the white short squatty ones, like not the yeah. good waffle one. Mm-hmm. I remember because yeah, because I, like, I think that's literally what it, they like that's, that's shave off what, yeah. tiny little crumbs. And from they a put they, old they put cone. water in in the wine too because they 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 force kids to drink that shit. So you know, they they saying. give wine to the children. Yeah, I got my first communion when I was. A wee boy. See what and I, I mean? Like, like they're so offended no, no, by no, no, everything, no, but, but then but they're like drag shows. Up. Drag shows are bad. Just well, remember, yeah. just those are the ones harming kids. Yeah, eyelashes yeah, yeah. are definitely going to turn everyone oh, gay. My oh my god, that's why I'm gay. <laughs> that's why Zozo's gay. We all know it. Zozo. It's just science. I need to look up Zozo. Um, but yeah, all due respect, but also I don't know. But be, also like be aware. I don't know. But if that's your jam, like talk to your buddies because they all suck. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Maddie. <laughs> Maddie Gunner's in the chat. Theater Jones says, I bought some so, so, commu- so some okay, communion okay. wafers on Amazon, and they were <laughs> great for my hangovers. No, you want to know something <laughs> funny about hangovers? One time, again, I've never gone to church voluntarily, but one time I was forced to go when I was, like, just unbelievably hungover. Like, oh. just, uh, like, just, like, hot spits, mm-hmm. the sweats. I was like, this is not good. Mm-hmm. But I was forced to go. And they were doing communion, and I was not expecting it to be real wine and it was absolutely oh. real like literally and, this like, little <laughs> <laughs> and i was like cool bless you whoever you're like, and i was literally yeah. just like <gasps> so okay so very it was cool. horrible we don't have to spend too much time on this because I, I grew up catholic so i went to a lot of catholic uh churches and i went i literally went to a, a catholic high school for four years yeah. and so it was nothing but church and communion yeah. all the time sure um catholic churches from my experience are relatively boring we're in and out we we they they say the past. I don't say we because I'm not part of that anymore. But the the uh, they they say their patches. I also do that for you. It's a bummer. Well, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, all the priests were cool there during my time at school. As far as I know, um, but uh, it's it, it was very structured. It was like boom boom here. Yeah, I remember here, that here and it was, here. There was like a run of show. Yeah yeah yeah. There and was like you, a stage you manager got, you, like entering the candle. You got your songs. You know. Yeah. I don't I don't think they're SAG approved just yet, but Certainly maybe not. maybe one day. Um, but, uh, I've only, so I think this is also one of the times that I was like, I don't like religion is when I, when I went to, uh, I'll be very careful. I, I, I'm already saying it. I went to a, a a friend's, um, parents who got remarried Okay, and it was in a Christian church and I had heard rumblings about this church it was like local like a lot oh, of no it was a lot like of one of the crazy like white mega it, churches? It, it, it was just like people crying and like oh like, like very like like i don't know if that's called pentecostal i don't I'm, know i'm not sure i'm not entirely sure because i know there's probably like, like speaking in tongues and like I, it's, it's, they might as well have but you know holding the bible so, so like the difference is like, like catholic catholic churches like they'll read straight out of the bible like to read passages yeah. the priest will say some stuff and then you're moving on yeah whereas just like everything in a christian church or at least you <laughs> it's know just whatever the fuck they're they just want. like yeah they just go <laughs> off and they're just constantly going yeah um and that i was just like that was like one of the first times where i looked around and i was like like, because everyone was like this. into it, and I'm trying to be respectful because it's partially like a, a a wedding kind of thing, and I'd heard so much about this church, and I'm like, I don't, I don't like this. Like, like this I remember looking at my parents, and I'm like, e- even my folks were like, oh, this is a bit much. I remember, and I'm gen- I'm being so. Gen- I remember being in preschool, mm-hmm. so I had to have been like three or four. This is easily my earliest memory. Mm-hmm. And I remember being at church, and literally, like little itty bitty baby Grace was like inwardly like a little heavy handed. Like I was literally like, I'm not, this is not my jam. Like I remember never, ever not once feeling comfortable. Yeah. I mean, it's weird for me because I did go to school four years at all boys Catholic school. Oh shit. And we, I was in private school too, but I got kicked out. (laughs) Yeah. I I got suspended once. Oh noise. Yeah. I got into a fight. What'd you do? Oh shit. Yeah. Like throwing hands. Fucked him up. No, I didn't. No, (laughs) like I tackled him on the ground and then the, the aid came and broke. We're like, you're a demon bitch. Yeah. No, he threw something at me and I threw something back. And then it was like, that's it. How long were you suspended for? A day. Oh, (laughs) it was like the best day ever. Oh, I felt so fucking hard. I'm like, (laughs) I was like, is my dad going to be upset at me? And then he's like, 
did you kick his ass? He's like, <gasps> no, See, but that's a good dad. Yeah, I guess so. I, I like mean, your dad. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's he's he's, cool. he's a big fan of you. He, you we he, hung, yeah. You guys we're hung best out, friends you, now. We hung out in New York. You guys are all best friends. Yeah. He's like, I'm kind of friends with everybody now. And then Ken was like, <laughs> I'm well, the cool dad. <laughs> Ken was like, when we went on our last hike, he's like, well, he's pretty much my age, so we might as well start <gasps> oh, hanging no. out. So my dad's older, so don't worry. He's a little bit. But older. like, how older? How a little many bit years? Older. Ken's old. Forty-seven. Six years, or seven six years. <laughs> maybe like six years. Ken could be your daddy. Ken could be my. Ken daddy. is your doo doo daddy. My dad now. was a young daddy. He was, he was like a young he was daddy. Like Nineteen. He's a he, handsome man. Yeah. You guys all look. You have a beautiful family. Yeah, it's a very attractive family. I mean, we're okay. Yeah. My mom is very beautiful. Love my mom. Stunning. She's a saint. She's the original queen. I love her. Yeah. Um, OG. Uh, all of uh, my brother Ryan, I think, got the best looks out of it. He's a, he's a damn cute little. He's boy. a cute fucking yeah. yeah. I mean, I know we're saying that because he's like literally an adult, but he's yeah. He look he's he's got the Cody thing. He looks a little bit younger, you know. Yeah, Cody's gonna be ninety, and we're gonna be like, oh my god, what's happening to that thirteen? Cody's a good looking boy too. Cody, damn it! I was thinking that today. I was like, Cody's a handsome motherfucker. Yeah, pissed me off. Like a little emo kid, I would have loved that back. Oh yeah, Cody. Cody always like. Like he goes off on his hair sometimes. He's like, God, I hate my hair today. I'm like, What? Fuck you, dude. You got your, your hair is beautiful it's today. Beautiful yeah, hair. Yeah, I'm gonna slap that off your it's face a, right it's now. A very, sl- very attractive. Everyone's very attractive. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> yeah. No. Everyone's very attractive. Yes. And Everyone's Ken's your beautiful. daddy, so congrats. Yeah. Am I, I your like hot stepmom then? I. <laughs> I hey. hey. I'll Go take to your it. room. Mm-hmm. What are you I'm doing, like, Here's stepmom? Some mushrooms. Don't tell daddy. <laughs> I aspire to be Ken one day. Just uh, I think that's solid. Yeah, yeah. Be a little bit more open about ghosts. I think that's a note. I, I think would that's give. the only other thing. I, I it all throughout a lot of that ghost talk. I was just thinking of the time where I was a, a lot younger and just very naive and probably a little bit, a little too sarcastic for the event. So I, I remember doing a whatever this is. I fucking love it. Well, it was a Blu-ray release for the Poltergeist remake, oh. and it was hosted at the house. I don't even think I, I saw I, that. I wanna it's not great. It, I wanna say that it it's not the house that Sharon Stone was murdered in, but I think it was like the next door neighbors or something like that. They do had you, something to do with Sharon Sharon Stone. Sharon Do you mean Sharon, Sharon Tate? Tate? Excuse me. Um wait, shut the fuck up. What was this? What uh year? what year did that poltergeist movie? Uh like twenty fifteen, I think, twenty sixteen maybe. Um, cause Roman Polanski and Sharon Tate's house was torn down and is now a, what I consider to be a hideous home. Uh, that the, the creator of full house owns. Oh, okay. See, that's, but that's the what I, neighbor, but the, a lot see. of, a couple of the houses around it are the OG houses. 20, okay. So it was in 2015. It was in 2015. Yeah. Oh, oh then you I were probably, I wonder if there was any video I think of you would have been at a neighbor's house, but the neighbor's house is like original. Yeah, it was definitely in the Hollywood Hills <sighs> and it was known to be like a haunted location. Like Yeah, like that whole street is fucking The guy shit. said like he would have figurines on like a fireplace and they were always knocked down. Wait, there was, like a wait, creepy basement. I know exactly who you're talking okay. about. They literally did an episode of this on Ghost Adventures. Okay, what is this place? Where it's like the basement is open, like yeah, there's earth. You can see like the insulation yeah, everywhere. Yeah, there's like fucking dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like three stories tall or you whatever. You were in that fucking house? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ugh. They did like a whole. I'm so jelly. They did like a whole seance thing what too. The fuck? Yeah. Wait, you, you just thought now you would tell me this is the best thing that's ever happened I, I could have swore I've maybe mentioned this before. I'm so but I, morbidly but obsessed All with that to say, I'm sitting in the background like, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone's just, like, tense. Things are happening. I think they brought, like, no, I don't know if they brought, like, a psychic or someone to read tarot cards. Yeah. But I'm just, like, I was sitting in the background. And I even, I You're remember. Like, bunch of, where the titties I at? Fe- <laughs> titties. <laughs> I felt so bad because. At the very beginning, like our our tour guide was like, even if you're not a believer, after this experience, you'll believe. And, and they you were like, and they they even called out, I was like, is there anyone that's not a believer? And I'm like, la, um, no, I'm I'm here for for and the they fun. Were like, oh, and then they're like, okay. The then they're like, well, well, we'll see by the end. And then by the end, they're like, so what'd you think? I was like, you were like fucking lame. <laughs> pretty cool. Thanks for the free Blu-ray. <laughs> Bye. Have a great night. I remember yeah. that. I remember when I watched that episode being like, he seemed like kind of a unique guy. Yeah. Yeah. The, so the owner that of that maybe, house. Yeah. Right? yeah maybe yeah. would have colored Not the Zach situation Bagans. for me. Well, he's <laughs> unique as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. But he's very unique. 
Um, I have to send you the TikToks. There's a guy that's been parroting him on TikTok. God, it's I want to dress up fan. as him for something for so it's like so fantastic. badly. Well, not yet. Wait till the strike's over. <laughs> I I don't know that Zach would be SAG. Or but also, where I'll fucking dress up as whatever the fuck I where, want. Where where does Ghost Adventures air? Well, I don't fucking know now because now it's on Max Travel Everything. Discovery. I don't uh, fucking know. Yeah, all those rights. I'm just are happy strange. when I find it. I'm okay. like, oh, here it is. That's fair. Episode. That's fair. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a fun and interesting interesting trip. That for is, sure. cr- I can't believe you're just like dropping that like it's like yeah. nothing. Like oh, <laughs> just cheers yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, at Zach's Haunted Museum, they have Sharon Tate's wedding dress. Which uh, was in the we home. were there together. I do remember that now that you're saying it. Wow. No, but you weren't there when the wedding dress was there, were you? I'm pretty sure I saw the wedding dress. Did I you see Michael Jackson's chair? Uh, see, I yes, think this, yeah. You did? I was there. I went with you guys. I saw the, the... I know, but I've been more than once and it was different. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I saw Michael Jackson's chair. I remember s- the one okay, thing Okay, then that, you probably did see the dress. The one that stood out to me was like... Was it OJ's chair was there? or Oh, the prison chair? Yeah, the took prison his, chair. Yeah. And then the the cat house's guy's bed. The yeah. the that is a cat house. The ranch. The the it was bunny ranch. Not the, is it the no bunny no no. Oh, are you talking about Lamar Odom? Oh yeah. Yeah, his the bed he was in at the bunny ranch. Yes. He, like, oh, that's almost, what it is. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. I, I love th- that. That's what he remembers. I. I mean, big fan of the show. <laughs> uh, HBO back in the day had the hits. <laughs> um, but. I thought it was the bed that the guy that. died in. It was Lamar. Well, he, oh. I, he like overdosed in, I think. Oh, and okay. there was like a lot of stains on the bedspread. Yeah, I remember yeah, that yeah. the tour guide was was keen on sharing that. Well, fit I, in love. Okay. Well, you but know. The, the wedding dress was in the in the fucking house when they were. Yeah, murdered. that's that's a little weird. To, uh, I know. I mean, I guess someone's got to have it. <laughs> I know. It, like, it's a very fine line. It's like I don't know when it's disrespectful, but I do yeah. know that I, in all honesty. I'm fascinated. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I want to see the fucking dress. Yeah, I guess it's true. I mean, she didn't die in it either. Like, she wasn't murdered in the dress, right? No, I, th- I, th- yeah, that would okay, be. Okay, like, that's I a think. little. I don't think It's like, how, how far was her wedding day from, from I that? mean, it had been years. Okay. I yeah, believe. Yeah. So. I it was, a, but it was a long time. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Dude, I mean, yeah. That door that they wrote pigs on in blood is like now. Why do I know this, Grace? Because you're sick. <laughs> I many, tracked it down. <laughs> how many times have you been in the Zach Baggins Museum? Only twice, but I would go literally every oh, day. Oh, okay. If I could. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. I me and Ken. <laughs> it's not that, no, me and Ken talk okay. about me. I when we were in New York, we wanted to go to the 9-11 Museum like so much. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. You were too excited to go. Okay. I can't no, go. I hey, don't put word it, excited. <laughs> no, that's that's. A stretch. Have you been there before? Not to the museum. I've been to the memorial and I oh, paid my respects. No, I'm talking okay, about the memorial. Okay. I've been to the memorial twice. Okay, but this time I didn't see the other side. I didn't. I I saw another side. But I've wanted to take the tour or like on the underground is what I'm referring to. Okay. Are, are Ken and I a little too obsessed with 9/11 stuff? Yes, probably. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's our ghost adventure. You know, we all have our things. We all have our things. Like I yes. just love spooky I, murder ship. Yes, and I say that at a and the murder thing too, I'm sure. And we say that out of respect, you know. Not, totally. Not I like, mean, because it, it comes yeah. from human behavior, like well, especially yeah. as an actor. Like yeah. serial killers are where you see the absolute worst. They're the best of human actors behavior. around. Yeah. So yeah. it's very it's a very fascinating case study. And yeah. then as a Reiki master, anything with ghosts, I'm like, mm-hmm. there's a. That's why they call them mediums. It's like we're mm-hmm. sitting in between the two things. It's like it's just very fascinating. Yeah. And I'm greedy. I want to know everything. And we can't know everything. That's the thing. But I didn't want to. Have you had the chance to know everything? Would you though? Yeah. Do, like that? Would you want that kind of power? Yeah. That that power? Okay. That power. I guess a woman could power to handle the power probably better. No, than uh, a maybe man. you could help explain it to me, and then I'd be. No, better. no, no, no. I'm what I'm. I'm not mansplaining. I'm. I'm literally. I'm complimenting I women, think... saying that women can handle power better than oh, men. Oh yeah. Well, that's proven. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Not like fucking. <laughs> well, let me tell you something about knowledge, lady. Let me tell you something. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, I, for sure. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, Would you? Want to know everything? Yeah. Like everything? Like like the meaning of life and all that? 
Ooh. Well, yeah. Maybe yeah. that's everything. I mean, no. I'd be like, who killed John Bonet? All right. Oh, the okay. Of life. Well, if we're knowing like that, yeah, I well, want to know. You know like, everything. Oh, I guess so. <sighs> What's weird is that like the top five things I would want to know are definitely crime related. <laughs> okay, what? Like, what are your top five things that you'd want to know? I would replay the O.J. Simpson murder because I want to know exactly how I mean, right we all are. Everybody know he did that shit. Oh, f- yeah. <laughs> yeah. John Bonet. Who's John Bonet? Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's John? Are you for real? There's a lot of John murderers out there. There's huh? not a. There's literally zero John Benets. John Benet Ramsey. <laughs> uh, Gordon Ramsay. Friends? Ramsay uh, from Game of Thrones. I feel like if I if I start telling you about it, you'll remember. It, it okay. was like she was like a little girl. Uh-huh. She was like our age, like a little bit. Like I guess she would be older than us. And mm-hmm. when she was like five or six, she was murdered in her home mm-hmm. on Christmas Eve. And she was like a, a really, really rich family. And there was this really fucking bizarro, like 17 minute long ransom note. And everybody was like, is it the brothers? Is it the parents? It was never solved. You don't know what I'm talking about? No. We're literally living in alternate realities right now. I don't now. know this one. No. Oh, honey. I, Th- is this I have like, so many documentaries to oh, send you. Oh, Stephanie is in the chat. Christian, what? Maybe I, I, I don't know. Is this what? like, is this like one of the, if not the f- famous missing girl thing? Absolutely. fucking lutely Little white I, girl? I would argue this is one of the top five most infamous slash famous true crime stories of all time. Okay. Prove, anyone? So I'm- Stephanie? I, I'm not- Oh my God. I, I, no, I'm so excited because now you can go down the rabbit maybe hole. Maybe I'll go down the rabbit hole now because I'm not, I'm sure Amber would know this too. She's oh, really she for don't know sure it. does. Because I, I cause the, the true crime stuff, I haven't gone down the road too, too, I, I draw the line kind of at serial killers. Like, I'll go down the rabbit holes on all them because, I like you, I, I do find them fascinating. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know, like, every... I guess I, I, I missed the boat. When when did, the, when did this take place? I mean, it was, like, when... I mean, we were we would have been really little, like, okay. toddlers. Okay. But I do remember seeing her face on, like, National Enquirers and shit like that what and being, the, like... What, what was the girl's name? John Benet, the literal weirdest name of all time. The girl's name is John Bonet. The girl's name is John Bonet. J O N or J O. It's J O N B E N E T with like some weird accents because her dad's a oh, narcissist wow. and named his daughter after himself. Oh wow! Oh, she was like a. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, she's even got the little accent. I have no idea. She was like a beauty queen, and her parents like Ooh, made her so guy. like sexy and gross when she was oh, like she a little itty bitty baby. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I was only four when she. When she passed right, away, no, like we were really little, but it was it's still technically unsolved. Wow. Yes, yeah, okay. Shit. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Go down I'll the rabbit go hole down and then I want to know what you think. Yeah. Even Suki says if you if if he saw a picture of her, I'm sure he'd know. No, I don't I don't recognize that one. No. That is crazy. Okay. And my that's your number two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> my favorite thing ever is when like spooky shit comes with true crime sh- shit like with oh the they Manson intertwine stuff. Yeah. yeah yeah that's, that's my cool. favorite fucking like the black dahlia Ooh, black dahlia i want to cool. go to that house so fucking bad yeah it's my number one is that in la yeah why don't you go you're like right here it's like a private residence oh okay. they rent it out for events do you want to know the weirdest tr- again <laughs> why you Chris? Had why your, yeah like like do you want to know the weirdest random weird fact mm-hmm. you know rita Dexter's wife in the first few seasons of Dexter. Yeah. Um, that actor got married at that house. Oh, that's f- fucking weird, if right? You know how she Why, turned Grace? out in that show. What are you doing? That's, uh, her name is, uh, oh, I, uh, she's in that, that show now with what's his name? She, yeah. Oh, fuck, I forget her name. I but don't know why it's not coming to me, but yeah. Yeah. First four seasons. Great. She's fantastic. Julie Benz. Thank you. Yes. Wow, that came out of nowhere. God. Wow. Okay. So, John Bonet, Ram- Ramsey. Oh, is this like what I would ask about? No, no, no. So you, you said the first one was o- the OJ murder. So I'm thinking of like, what are the top five that you want to know answers for? I mean, I, mean, I guess John Bonet would be number one because it's like technically unsolved okay. and there is just enough on all the sides. Can where you it's throw like, Casey nah. Anthony in there? I mean, everybody knows. No, too. we know what the fuck she did. Okay. Fuck that bitch. All right. Okay. I mean, but we she's know. Like, an OJ. like it's like we know. We know, but she got away with that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I definitely want to know like JFK, just the the yeah. real answer, or I was thinking about that with her pink dress, because oh. like that pink dress is like in storage somewhere with like all of his blood all over it, and there's like a stipulation from the Kennedy family that it can only be released after a certain amount of time, 
and we're oh. like coming up. It's on, on it. embargo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. JTE's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deep cut. That's a deep, deep cut. Um, okay. Shit. Now I'm trying to think of other unsolved or mysterious stuff. I don't know. Wow. I love that shit. I'm blown away by it. Yeah. So aliens. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously aliens. I want to. I'm. I've At gotten, this point, I'd pay them to adopt me. Like, I, I'm out. Well, like, I've had yes. a good run. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you there, but I'm also at the point because there's been, in recent months, there's been, like, so much stuff with government, you know, stuff revealing I know. all this information. But I'm also, like... And we're also jaded. We're, like, we don't care. I, there, what's the... What's the... There's a term. It's, like, agnostic, but uh, but for the belief in aliens and, and not able to really prove the fact that there are aliens. I, I mean, that's kind of what agnostic means. But yeah. there, there's a specific term, I think, for aliens. For just aliens. Yeah, I, I forget what it's called, but I, I, I always feel like I lean towards that because we've seen so much shit. I'm like, just fucking sh- just show us already. Just c- like, I know. If, if you're out there, then fucking show yourselves. Otherwise, like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, I think I, if I've they did, lost... though, we wouldn't care, or we would think it's a At hoax. this point, no, exactly. That's, That's how I think ghosts are. People are like, if it's true, then prove it. I'm like, yeah. you've seen a million videos. Yeah. Like, I you think wouldn't I, believe it if you saw it. I think I'd literally need to see, like, Biden shaking hands with an alien, and him- God, I would love that. And him just thinking it's, like, Mitch McConnell. And you then know, the dog like, bites the alien. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, and then it's an all-out war. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's how it all starts. Maverick, damn it. That's how it all it. starts. Yeah. Um, well, shit. I'm in the spooky mood now. I gotta. I guess I gotta. I know go we watch like some, really went down. I gotta go there. watch some That's some true said. crime stuff. Have you? Oh my I, god! Have you done a deep dive on Richard Ramirez? I think I've told you my oh, for sure. my story on Richard Ramirez. I'm pretty sure I've told you the story of Richard Ramirez in my story. I'm pretty sure I've told you this, Jack Cohn. If you're watching, please tell me if I've told the story. Jack Cohn is like. I Jack would holds remember like, if somebody in my close circle was like, "Oh, have you heard my Richard Ramirez story?" I'm pretty sure I have. I've well, told this. Sto- I've told the story so many times on the show. What? Yeah. But maybe I'm just having a weird brain fart, like you with John Bonet. Okay, I'll go through it quickly, but I'll try to savor it so that way the uh, the twist is revealing. Even though I told you that it has something to do with me. Um. So excellent opening. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh. So <laughs> he's my dad. No. Um. <laughs> So Ken's like, damn it. Back when, when Richard Ramirez was, was, you know, obviously Fucking Nick Wade literally said you have. I've told you this before. Nick, have I heard it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay, very quickly. But um, there was a, a, a young woman sleeping in, in like her, it was her bedroom, but it, it looked like from the outside that it was the. Um, it's just like, like tingling something yeah, way in the back. It, it, you'll, find it. you'll find it. You'll find it. Spacewell says, yes, you have told that. that. They're all like, mm-hmm. uh, And um, uh, the window looks like it was the window inside the garage. So, like, if you were to watch, see this house from the outside, you would think it's the garage. So, okay. um, one night, um, this woman was sleeping, sleeping. She woke up in the middle of the night thinking that it was her boyfriend coming home because sometimes he would come home in the middle, come to her bedroom in the middle of the night. She was in high school um, oh. and sneak through, like, at 2, 3 in the morning or something like that after work. But this night, it was a lot later than normal, so she thought it was weird. After she woke up, she heard a noise, then she saw a man climbing into the window. Didn't recognize who he was, but the fact that she didn't recognize him, she thought initially it was her boyfriend, but it wasn't, so she yelled. He falls back and runs away and eventually drives away. So then um, the the dad of the house walks in, um, calls the cops. Cops come. They're like, oh, they're explaining kind of what happened. Someone broke in, yada, yada, yada. And then the, de- the, the cop said, we need to get the detectives because there's something on, there's something over here. And uh, the something over here was like, there was like a painted pentagram. There was <gasps> a, candles. There was a Bible. They're like, uh, we won't say who we think this is, but we have a good idea. And then Richard Ramirez Shut is caught. Shut the fuck up. Richard Ramirez is caught a week or so later. And the detectives like come back and say it come to the the both the uh, the mom and the dad of the house like just to let you know this was Richard Ramirez Holy most likely but Jesus we fuck. caught him you're fine he's 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 uh, in jail now like th- we're dealing with all that blah 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 you don't have anything to worry about and that woman who was in that room was my mom you're sh- you're fucking making that up. I've never told you're you that. You're fucking shit. I swear me? to God, I've told I've told you that before. There's no way I haven't. There's no. I would have fucking remembered this. Are yeah. you? I swear to God. For, your mom? Yeah. I would kill him. Don't you touch her? <laughs> now, oh, you should have. I you, I would have 
connected you two at my engagement party and you oh, just would have been would asking her the whole time Holy or my grandma shit. the whole time i didn't even think about that wow you couldn't you might have ne- never been here no yeah no no jesus christ yeah. and i remember both my both my mom and uh my grandma telling me that story and when they told me that oh my god they told me that when i was like either in high school or maybe in college. And I was like, oh, I really want to go into psychology. Like, that got me on the oh, psychology yeah. path. I was like, oh, I want to study serial 100%, killers. yeah. Um, and I remember going down the rabbit hole looking for any bit of information on that, and there was, like, nothing. About, there, like, that About specific that very specific thing. And I, and I think it's because he got caught around the time and there wasn't anything to, like, be noteworthy of or whatever. Um, and then there was like the, the Netflix documentary series that came out. I was like, well, yeah. I should have interviewed you. You were, you were like an almost victim. That is thing. absolutely insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. My that aunt still lives in the so house. Yeah. Wait, what? The, mm-hmm. Have I been in the house? No, you haven't been to that house. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. It's close by though, th- from the house that you've been to my, my parents' place. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you have to take me to the house. Yeah, I might then. have to take you there. Yeah. Jesus Christ! What else mm-hmm. are you sitting on? You're like, yeah, and Charles Manson's my daddy. No, like, no. Well, my whole my whole goal was goal, but um, after they told me that story, I was like, I want to I want to go into psychology and I want to yeah. like fucking interview this guy one day. You know, God, it's but he's so fat. Yeah. But um, I told you. Okay, so that was that was that I'm story. I'm gonna be thinking about this for like weeks. Yeah. I'll, g- I'll give you my mom's number. You just call her. Yeah, like, I'm like, like <laughs> look, sis. Also, your dad told me that she loves me, so she would love to hear from me. So there you go. She and the thing is, she t- she tells me this. She's like, yeah, it's no big deal. I'm like, what the but fuck? But that's how it is to You're be a such woman. A it's like I can't rock. believe I'm still alive. That's cool. like like the most traumatizing thing that I've ever heard. And she's like, yeah, you know, it's no big deal. That is absolutely yeah. insane. Rock. But it also kind of goes back to what we started with. It's that it's like, who the fuck was looking over your mom that night? Yeah. Because he mm-hmm. was one of the worst fucking dudes that oh, ever lived. Fucking vicious. Disgusting. Absolutely vicious. Yeah. I couldn't even get through that dog. No. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, and I'm rough. hard to face. Yeah. It's, it's really, really rough. <laughs> um, like, it's some pretty terrible stuff. Yeah. yeah around like, very episode, malicious. like two or three, I was like, you know what? I get it. I'm going to yeah, sit yeah. this one out. Yeah. So that's, that's. But there is a great uh, Richard Ramirez Ghost Adventures episode. Again. Oh. Why do I not okay. have a ghost show? It's all <laughs> I care about in the world. Oh, yeah. We've talked about that. Yeah. We should get yeah. that off the ground. Yeah, yeah. we should do that because yeah. I don't find joy in anything else really. No, just oh, kidding. there you go. Well, okay. One more thing and then we'll we'll wrap it up. Okay. I, I, I'm positive, like almost 100% positive I told you my Annie story. Your Annie story? Yes. Like it's not it's, tomorrow. No, well, it's not. No, no, no. But it's it's not my story. It's a family member story. But like Annie, the no, 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 no. Like it's, Annabelle, it's a it's doll. A, it's a it's a spooky story. Wait, is this the is this the bunk bed story? No, I feel like I've heard Annie before. I've t- okay. So my my tell it again, tell it again, aunt, tell it again. This is my favorite thing God ever. Damn, I'm so sorry. I've told this story before, but no, this is know, for Grace. In like a few hours, it will literally be fucking Sawin. Like it will literally be Halloween. Like this is all I want in the world. This I is mean, the happiest day of my life. Technically, on the East Coast, it's already <gasps> shut there, up. There it is. It's already all Hall's Eve. Oh my God. Ooh. Hey, I haven't oh, yes. been looking at the. Oh yeah, Stephanie. Stephanie watch said Ghost watch. it's kind of like how Ghost my parents watch. had uh, three or four run-ins uh, that put them very close to the Son of Sam case, all within about a week or so. Whoa, hold Damn. on! Damn, you know, you're opening up a whole can of worms. Um, I mean, but just because he's told it, look, I love you to death. I have not watched 600 episodes of the Wanger Show. Like I maybe missed. Also it. true. <laughs> he's faceless. <laughs> yeah, I've told you told this story. Okay, I've told the story, but maybe not to Grace. I swear that's the first person that I would think of when it comes to this kind of story. Yeah, well, you know what? Okay. You've been sleeping on Ramirez for God knows okay. how long. I'm pretty. Maybe that should have been the second thing you said. <laughs> Hi, I'm Copster. In I've a few literally, years, it won't I've be that anymore. But that let me tell you this cool story. The name is dead. <laughs> The name is a ghost <laughs> haunting me. I'm so sorry. Um, I know. Okay. I feel that way about my. I'll tell name. this. This is the last time I tell the story about Annie because I'm pretty sure this is like the fifth. Every time, time I come on, I'm going to pretend <laughs> you're, I'm you're, ne- you're never going to remember this. So <laughs> my aunt Jennifer, who actually owns the house, or not owns, but she lives in the house, the the Richard Maris well, who house. Who owns it? I don't. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she owns it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't. Maybe she does own. Uh, may, maybe my grandma owns it or oh, something. Oh, so it's like, like in the. F- it's oh in the family. God, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. Take so, me to the fucking house. So my Aunt Jennifer, the one who lives in that house, the Ramirez house, she had, when she was younger, she had an imaginary friend named Annie. 
Okay. The, is this going. clicking or no? A little bit, yeah. Okay. And so this, uh, like any kid who has an imaginary friend, you know, like they, kid. Just I never had that. Imaginary, imagination just run, runs rampant, whatever, blah, sure. blah, blah. Um, and my Aunt Jennifer, she is the second youngest to five girls. My my grandma oh, had five damn. girls. My mom, Denise, Jenny, Lisa. I mean, I hope three. you know yes, all yes. your aunts, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just okay. making sure. Because sure, sure, it's, sure. it's literally... Uh, all girls on one side, all boys on one side. That's Cute. just how our family is. Um, You're literally the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, she she's the she was the second youngest, and then my aunt Denise, the the baby of of all the five girls, um, still kind of a newborn and whatnot. And uh, when when uh, my aunt Jennifer was younger, she would always say that Annie doesn't really like Denise that much. And then Denise would wake <laughs> up, Denise would wake <laughs> up in the middle of the night screaming, Holy and my aunt shit. Jenny would say like, Oh yeah, Annie woke denise up and all this stuff and my grandma was starting to get freaked out uh and she would she literally like brought a priest to the house and like you know yeah, like bless it. the house yeah. and, and all this stuff um come to find out um I, I i always forget the detail of of whose house it was it was another family member's house that they had just moved into okay and um one day when my grandma was over there uh, she was asking about the house because they had just moved in, and uh, the owners of the house were saying, well, you know, we actually just found out uh, the, the pool in the backyard. Well, actually, a, a little girl named Annie <gasps> drowned <gasps> and, and died in that pool. And so my grandma hears this, and she's like, what the fuck? Like, come again? <laughs> she, she goes to my Aunt Jenny, and she's like, hey, Jennifer, where's Annie and how did you meet her? She's like, oh, I, I met her at such and such by the, the by the pool. No. <gasps> and then she's like, okay, where is Annie right now? And she's like, she's gone. She's gone. I've never told you that. I mean, look, dude. Maybe I have. <laughs> the le- it's fun like, to tell it again. The lo- the sides upon sides upon sides in my head. I don't have memories for anything. Like, <sighs> oh, Space is- says she was there. She was there when you wore the Squid Game outfit. That was like that was like a year ago. That was like two years ago, maybe when I told that story. Oh yeah. You just oh, and I was you just here don't too. listen. And you had the reaction you had is if you've never heard it. <laughs> Arcadio said it caused mass panic. Okay, hold on. It caused mass. panic. I wonder if there's a time code on this thing. Hold on, and we're gonna wrap it oh up. Oh my right god, now. I'm hold gonna laugh. La- it's <laughs> if anything, it's just my subconscious being like, Grace, forget this. So you can experience joy in the future. I, I mean, hey, you you had some joy right there. Look, the amount of trauma we've all experienced in the past few years. <laughs> like, who needs? Whoa, what the fuck? That's a we- oh wait no that's a different thing that's a weird thumbnail it says Grace returns this is our last one our thumbnail is like very different okay hold on hold on sorry I'm getting distracted um, <laughs> spooky spooky I wonder okay, if wait, they're I gotta read what Ghost Watch is because oh, now I'm is. into Sam and Colby because I'm I ran out of Ghost Adventures there's okay there's a time code oh that's a supernatural like talk my here are so sweaty my titties yeah I probably did tell you this story way back then anyways. Interesting. So there it is. There's some guy who works for the BBC who does like great um, podcasts. He does like the Battle Sea uh, Poltergeist and oh my god, that one that's like in some like I want to say like Gaelic country that's like way out in the boonies. I can't think of it, but mm-hmm. he's Danny something. But he does great uh, like true spooky shit, like investigating mm. like famous haunted houses. Oh, that's pretty cool. Or like famous hauntings rather. Mm. The Enfield fucking like that would be one of the things I would want to ask about when I, and and the fucking Conjuring House, mm. like the Perone family, like the Sherman family, yeah. like the Arnold family. Like who owns? Is it the the daughters now that own? Because both no, the, it's like a different lady now. Oh really? Because I know yeah. Ed and Lorraine, they both passed away, right? Mm. And they just have yeah, I believe I think Lorraine passed a year or two ago. Yeah, Ed had been gone. For Ed a had been gone. I mean, as the men usually do. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> We die. We always die first. We die first. That's just how it is. We're not strong enough. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Spooky stuff. Perfect time. That's fucking. I'm wicked. sure in a year from now, it's time. I can't wait to now. hear this story yeah, again. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you again, and then you're gonna hound me and be like, "Why <laughs> did you tell me this story?" Story, and they're all gonna my pull this up fucking gonna aunt like, Jennifer Shit. was at the engagement party. You could have. You could have been like. You could have been There's like all these fucking cool bitches walking around and I'm over here yeah. like talking to Cody <laughs> lame. <laughs> I remember kidding. the last time like I brought that up to her. I was like, hey, how's Annie doing? She's like, don't joke about that. <laughs> I was oh, like, oh, shit. Fuck. OK, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm that happens all the time, though, yeah. like kids and, and animals and shit like they're mm-hmm. so sensitive because they're not like 
cut off to it like no. adults are. Mm-mm. We're all dead inside, but kids and shit, they're like, hey, yeah. what's your name? I'll, I'll, I'll reach out and, and see if there are any other like ghost stories uh, from, from my family. I'll see. Oh, my God. I want to hear every. Everybody, send me your family's ghost stories. Send me all this shit. Send all it of them to Grace. It gives me so much joy. Well, speaking of joy, I know uh, I, I keep saying we're going to wrap it up. This we'll finally wrap it up with 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 all of this. Uh, you do your uh, your Reiki yeah. stuff. Um, it, did I say it right? <laughs> Reiki, Reiki. Um, yeah, you've been doing your Reiki stuff, and you've been going hard at it. Um, <laughs> Going, what, going Reiki hard. You're going Reiki hard. Yeah. Um, what's sort of the process that you do? Like how you kind of oh. like go into it? Like what's your mindset going into like a Reiki session? What a fantastic question, Christian. Who am I? Sean People, Evans like, from Hot Ones? don't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what a fantastic question. Well, it's really similar to how you approach anything. It's mm-hmm. you've got to have good energetic hygiene, just like mm-hmm. if you're using a Ouija board, if you're doing tarot or something like that. Um, or quite frankly, if you're doing anything, because as you go about your day and somebody cuts you off and you're pissed or you're thinking about your best friend that you fought with, that's all energy that's like clouding your aura. Yeah. So energetic hygiene is good in all forms. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, when you start studying Reiki, you you study with several other Reiki masters through several different um, stages, technically just one, two, and three. Uh, when you become a Reiki master. Are you a Reiki master? Well, of course. Okay, just making sure. But it's not like Reiki master, like, it's like more so like the connotation is that you're like a master of yourself, Mm, uh, which is actually pretty cool. I'm the boss. So it's just, it's a lot of grounding. It's a lot of clearing of the mind. And Mm. then it's just like tuning in. And then that's where all that yummy psychic medium shit kicks in. And the people are like, who the fuck have you been talking to? And Mm -hmm. I'm like, absolutely nobody like, explain that like ken Mm -hmm. has like even ken who like believes nothing (laughs) zero fun even he's like i don't know man like that's fucking nuts i don't know how you knew that so Mm. it's like anybody listen curious like just try it because there's there i mean especially with like you two because amber still talks about when i don't know if this was like a a ken birthday backyard fire thing or or something but um we were all hanging out and uh, he was opening up baseball cards (laughs) <laughs> and and like you were doing something to help channel him figure like yep. something out and he literally out of this random baseball card yep. pack he pulled out a fucking some random player from like the 1980s or the 1990s and he got it exactly <laughs> and there was like this weird connective tissue between you two that like generated the the, the correct answer yep. until this day amber was like i don't fucking get it there there was something yeah. there in that moment that you two pulled out and it was just fucking insane yeah well yeah. it's fu- i love that i didn't know that what what's funny about that though is that they had been doing that and then this one ellis was like if you get this one i'll give you a 100 bucks and he was like it was he was like oh baby send me the answer because i need a 100 bucks and i was like all right <laughs> and then boom and then there i'm sure is. he never venmoed it i hope he didn't because <laughs> i mean if, if anything there's anybody, i need to venmo if, there's, if there's anybody that would it would be it would be i Mark. know you bastard take it back son of a bitch yeah have one flaw like, man i know ew <laughs> just the worst the best but yeah it's like but i think that's why a lot of people come to me for reiki because i really am even though i'm like goth and witchy but i'm also just like a fucking realist and yeah, I like yeah. studying the physics which is why i love physics so much mm-hmm. and why i like quantum physics so much because it's like like if you look at the winners of the nobel prizes over the past 10 years it's like oh mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like no this is a thing yeah, yeah so it's crazy but it's also just like explain it oh you can't yeah, and then and then so like fun. say someone who leaves a Reiki s- session, like how are they feeling afterwards? Typically, uh, I, I mean, I'm sure ninety nine out of hundred times, like literally on cloud nine. Yeah, right. Okay, which is what you need because it's like life is so icky. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's trash. Yeah, so, so hey, it's pretty. Yeah, pretty helpful. It's very fulfilling work because yeah. it's it's effective, and I think it's what people need because I also feel like it would be a nice way to to kind of be vulnerable in a moment, you know, like kind of let yourself. um, Oh, absolutely. Like people cry. Like it's totally a a safe space. Yeah. There's a lot of like emotional release because you're dumping all of your gross energetic shit. Mm -hmm. That's like stuck in like our aura or your energy field or in your mind, you know, whatever you want to call it. Like a cleanse, a nice little like a detox of all that tough. Like day to day is so yucko. Yeah. So it's, yeah. 
and they can and they can and they can find all that you have a website that you can uh, find all that stuff yeah go to reikihealingwithgrace.com cool and there will be a link in the description too for you guys to go check it out if you do want to get those sessions with grace yeah hang out with her it's all on zoom so oh there you go do you ever do you ever do like in person or no I ha- maybe I do with for personal people friends, I know. maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll share something really quickly. I had a client who came to me like about two years ago because she was going through a really painful IVF journey. Couldn't get pregnant. Couldn't get pregnant. Her husband wanted babies so bad, so bad, so bad. Like crazy IVF, like many rounds. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. She finally got pregnant naturally, zero IVF, and I got to do a Reiki circle at her fucking baby shower. Whoa, like that's cool. Like, the tears. I was literally like, this is insane. Like, wow. this is, And I'm not taking credit for it, but it I was mean, pretty... But, like, her mom came up I mean, to me and was like, you've done so much for her. And I was like... <gasps> I was like no, but again, no. it's all, it, yeah, it's it's all that positive energy. You exactly. know, putting it, putting it back into themselves, you know. It's the, like, believing in you can do it almost, you know. Well, yeah, and just like, I mean, that's... It's like with the Ouija board. It's like, it doesn't have to be fucking Zach bag. Like, it's mm-hmm. not dark. Like, not it's Zozo. not... Yeah. Like, there's a way to send light out, which is mm-hmm. what we fucking need. Yeah. Like, everything is so dire. Like, yeah. And when you send out light like that, it really does affect the collective. It's like there are certain people. I like to think that I'm one of those people that people are always like, oh, and Grace comes in the room. Like, I have a smile on my face. It's like <laughs> you affect the energy like we all do. Yeah. So the more that we do that in yeah. a positive way. Mm-hmm. Well, Draco definitely feels it. It changes. He yeah. may not show it on the outside, but, but the like inside, I can yeah. feel it. Like, yeah, oh, it's like, there. Mama, give it. Oh, hey, take it easy. He <laughs> has a mother. He has a mother. Okay. But like he's a Draco. He's a Malfoy. Listen, I'm a narcissist. He <laughs> he has the name of a Draco on the inside. He's like a a Neville. He's Longbottom. a Hufflepuff. Yeah, in there, like yeah. like for sure. Yeah, absolutely. He's so ugh. It's just Adorable. so cute. Well, um, please, uh, if you do want a, a, a cool, what, right, oh, for a child name? Yeah. Yes, boy, send in a super chat. Thank you. Grace Christian, favorite names for a baby. Uh, I do, I, we have talked about some baby names before. Oh. I don't know if we'll all. Like hypothetically? Well, I mean, it's going to happen one day. <gasps> Probably. More than likely. That's so exciting. Maybe like. Not this, <laughs> not th- not too soon. He's like, no, later no. tonight. <laughs> there, there, there is a plan. There is a plan in place. I think you guys would be fantastic parents. I, I hope so. I know you would be fantastic I, I know parents. she'll be great. I'll be, oh, I'll be there. No. Hopefully they have be amazing. her beautiful looks and my... Uh, Your curly hair. Personality. No, God, And Draco's no. little rat tails. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> They'll have a little bit. I mean, that's that's their older or brother. Just one. That's yeah. their older brother. They oh, have to fucking pay stop. respect. So, I mean, Draco's number one. Then, when you get then, on like those TikToks of like dogs meeting like their baby, like their little. Yeah, butt. I do. Oh. I I do see that. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute. I'm like that is yeah, kind of cute. That's pretty cute. Yeah, we we've talked Not about for some, me. We were actually just saying recently, like we we're watching Coraline. We're like, kind of like Coraline. Kind of like that. That's pretty cute, dude. That's goth as She fuck. she she kind of won me over on that. She likes she likes Olive a lot. It's because she loves olives. <laughs> but, Delicious. Uh, but I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute. And that's I was like, really I cute. Call I love her, that. Like for a girl, we're thinking of. I I'm pretty sure I, I'm we're gonna have a girl. You're a girl, dad. I, I just I just kind of I have a feeling. My mom had three boys. Uh, my dad's side, they're all boys. Most like there's only besides my my four aunts that there's like I four girl cousins are all the rest are all boys. All of them boys. That's crazy. Yeah, they're all boys. So I'm like, oh, it's gonna be me. I'm gonna have the girl. But you're, yeah, you've got like girl dad written all over you. It's just scary. It's the Either highest way. compliment I could ever give somebody. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. But uh, uh, well, we'll see in, in in the in the in the close future. Uh, Grace, uh, thank you so much. Thank, thanks for letting me, me dump all my weird spooky shit oh, on you no, guys. no, this is the perfect time. I'm like, t- I want to rant about ghosts. This is the perfect time to do it. It's spooky month. <gasps> it's spooky Got Reiki month. sessions going on like crazy. Again, yeah. you can go to her, her website. The link will be in the description yeah, for you to go and you. check it out. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, I, I know, like, with the SAG stuff going on, there's it's, it's not a whole lot going on right now. Uh, we were just talking about in the in the pre-show and for Patreon um, that uh, – like we keep seeing like mixed things. Like there were yeah. some reports coming in, like oh, like it, it could be resolved it was this week. Positive, but, but we're taking then, the like, day off. Yeah. We're like, okay. So uh, hopefully, just regardless, hopefully it's it's ending soon. Yeah. And y'all can get back out there and fucking keep grinding. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So. I just want to dress up as what I want for Halloween, and that's really why I want them. Well, to figure next out. year, hopefully. Next year, hopefully, you can yeah. dress up as La Llorona. 
is now that is IP. I've seen so many great fucking videos of that shit, of like evidence. Oh, of that. the real one. That's terrible. That was the one as a kid that fucked me up. I'm yeah. Like, Why are you telling me this? Just to make me go to bed? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Just say, <laughs> night uh, night. Just say you're going to take my video games away, not a fucking like, witch I'm in lady. My bunk bed. Drown her children at night. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> There it is, everybody. Um, thank you all for watching this episode. Happy Spooky Month. Uh, it was a great spooky Man. month. Uh, we'll probably be back. Yeah, we'll be back next week uh, going into Thanksgiving month. Ew. Yay. Oh. Oh. I don't care for celebrate. I just like the food. I like food. Yeah, I like food. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like the, the slaughtering of indigenous people's indigenous month. People. We like to no, eat food no, no, for no. indigenous people. I just like to eat the food. Just let me eat the food, Mom. I know. Yeah. I just need people to cook for me. Well, yeah, you, sh- you should. Get in the kitchen not to be and that, fucking do what you're Not to be <laughs> that guy, but you should know how to cook. Not because Ooh, you're a woman. No, I definitely don't. Just because I've, I think people in general should just know how to cook. Oh, no, people should know how to feed themselves. I agree. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm what I'm I'm not one saying. of those people. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I eat rabbit food. Like, why do you think I'm vegan? All I can eat is leaves. <laughs> It's because it's the easiest fucking thing. <laughs> she like, literally mm, like basil. grabbed a few rocks on the way in here. She's like, oh, I'm full. I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> just like a couple of pebbles. Yeah. Mm, nom, 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 um, nom, nom, nom. But uh, yeah, thank you all. We appreciate it. Please uh, make sure you're hitting the like button on this video. Leave yeah. it a comment. Uh, every comment does get featured on the next episode at the oh. end. So please leave a comment down below. Let us know your spookiest yeah. stories of <gasps> the Send month and all that jazz, what you're doing for Halloween. Uh, make sure you're checking out our most recent short film, Scare Tag, which Grace is one of the stars in and is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and uh, Patrick recently, who was just yeah. in the chat too, he was in there as well. Both of them, uh, very high compliments. I don't know if you watched the. I made a little making of, just nothing but oh, high yeah. praise of of both I did of watch you it, yeah. the whole time because you guys oh. are just like fantastic. Oh, both of you guys, nice. just amazing. I watched it when I was showering in New York. <laughs> there was a weird shelf in our shower in New York, and so hey, I- there you go. That's that's content right there. So if you're taking a shower. Put on the making. Why aren't you tag. watching this? That's up there as well. It's great um, shower time. So be sure to check it out. That video is almost at a 10,000 views, which is amazing. So we very much appreciate it. It's a perfect yeah. one to watch during Spooky Month. I know. So watch that over the shape, which Grace is also in, which Grace is great, but, you know. I but know. we're trying to bump up scare tags. Yeah, so just, just go to that do your due instead. diligence. Do it that instead. So uh, thank you, everybody. We appreciate thank you. you. Uh, any Anything else, Grace? <laughs> last last minute things. Uh, where they, they can find you on social media. You're yeah. on the Twitters, on the Instagrams. I'm on all of the social worldwide webs at Get Your Gracing. Uh, my like version of Patreon is officially graced.com. Ooh, yeah. I did a fucking dope carry photo shoot that is coming Ooh. out tomorrow on Samhain Let's and go. or Halloween. So I'm really excited about that. So you mm-hmm. can join that. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Ooh, I got to show you some photos. Too. I didn't do like sexy uh, uh, oh, dress up. No, uh, but no Dra- it involves Draco. <gasps> oh, I want to see those. So uh, I'm, and I'm posting Draco those titties. tomorrow too. Oh, so there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick. Cause uh, I asked you a, for a photo and you sent me that photo and it's the, it's the thumbnail for this video and it's a very lovely photo. But oh, then like, the <laughs> so I, I grab it and then I send it to Cody. I'm like, and I, before I send it to him, I'm like in all caps sending for work purposes. And I send it to him and he, he's just like, great. And then we were both going back and forth on how we do the thumbnail. And it's I was like, like just, 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 just right here in this angle. Cause it looks like it, it's perfect. Perfect. It was a, I wish he was here just so we can talk Aww, about the wonderful back you, and forth. Cody. So he'll be back next week, and then you're obviously welcome anytime. Anytime and every time. Thank you. So there it is. I'm excited to sweat on this chair anytime you need me. Is it, are, you, are you sweating a lot? It's swampy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's I'm okay. I've got some moist Ken says, hey, time, time for ghosties. Get <gasps> home. Yeah, because we're going to go home and watch ghosties, because oh, Ken is the best. Let's go. All right. Get, you, get home, Bye. Ken. Send her home. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yeah, normally we would do the sound bites and whatnot. Cody's not here. I don't have the sound bites. I apologize. They'll be back next week, and then we'll uh, get Cody, it together. Cody will. Uh, okay, next week I I can't make any promise. This is the closest thing I'll get to a promise. Okay. Because I don't I don't like making promises I can't keep. I respect it. But next week, uh, I'm gonna very much try. I'm and like this. This be like a ninety. 90- 8% chance this will happen okay. that Cody will finally talk about death. Give him his... Because it's been so long, he hasn't given his thoughts on death, and every time we just we just run out of time. So God, that, that went so deep, and I yeah. wasn't expecting it. So I think next week for sure, uh, timestamp it here, Cody. Uh, he's going to give his thoughts on death. 98% sure he'll do that. But what I am sure 
of is that if you click videos right here or right here or subscribe or hit the Patreon button right there, you're going to get some good shit. So thanks, everybody.